Go ahead. Well, what's this? I, I don't know wow. what this technology is. Wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, Ralph, uh, thank you. You're welcome. It's good to hear from you, man. Dude, this would have never happened <laughs> if you hadn't gotten him to fucking be stupid enough to think he's going to do fucking fight me IRL again. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, hey, it's good to hear from you. Go ahead. Sorry. Wait, is this the real thing? <laughs> yeah, Congrats. It's, it's really him. Congrats on your W. Congrats thank on your W. Oh, uh, what else? Uh, I'm going to cut it short. So Sure, uh, that's fine. Uh, let's see. That that day in Miami, when you locked him in the room, you know how you had him curled up the ball? I do. I remember. I said that. He tried to that, deny that it happened, of course, for people who don't know. I, yeah. I didn't believe you until it happened to me in Orlando. He was getting drunk, way too drunk. He fucking panicked and, like, had a little tantrum where he, like, ran to his room, slammed the door. Mersh and uh, Royce were there. <laughs> Super awkward. They end up leaving, right? He storms out into the balcony to smoke a cigarette. And I'm like, nah, he's not going to be slamming doors in the Airbnb that I paid for. <laughs> I just step out into the balcony to talk. Right. He curls up in a ball, starts bawling. Bawling. <laughs> so I believe you a thousand fucking percent. That that's exactly what fucking happened. That's and when it. people say Ralph's too scared to show up, you showed up in Miami. You you locked that door, and that's how he reacted. That's when you followed him outside. He said, "Oh no, he's coming! Failure, ag, save me." That's <laughs> so, literally. Yeah. And by the way, thank you for calling in. And it's good to hear from you. I hope you've been well. Um, but yes, that's literally what happened. And uh, by the way, I didn't go in there to fight Andy Worski is the funny thing. Like, I didn't go in there to attack him or anything. Like, I was just like, I mean, the trip was a complete disaster. I was still kind of fucked up. The the ice had just hit me. I basically was going in there like, hey, all right, we need to talk, right? Like, all right, this is serious. Like, <laughs> we need to figure it out. Not that I had been the best either on the trip, but it's like, okay, we need to talk man to man right now. You know what I mean? Like, let's figure this out. And he completely lost his mind, curled up into a ball, started yelling like I was trying to uh, sexually assault him. You know what I mean? Like it was just like really yeah. uncomfortable. It was one of the most uncomfortable situations I've ever been in because it's like a grown man just having a full-on attack like a child would or a woman. You know what I mean? Like it was just really weird. Um, yeah. So yeah. Uh, somebody's asking where the fuck has failure been? I've been away from this shit, man. I, I said I was fucking walking away from this. This was too fucking much. I think you even mentioned at one point like that I walked away, and I was trying to tell like Andy, like no offense to you, I was trying to tell him go fucking normally, stay away from you, <laughs> stay sure. away from all this fucking shit because you even know this fucking world is chaos, right? And then it's terrible advice because Andy's gonna be a train wreck no matter what. <laughs> Well, plus he can't. Like, no, that's not. You know what? It's actually good advice. Um, and you know, Worski's had success on video game stuff. Uh, and honestly, if he yeah. would have stuck kind of in that lane, that has way more longevity. You know, not many people can do what I do for years on end. Uh, and even what I do could come to an end yeah. abruptly if there's one show that's just way controversial. You know, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's one yeah. of those things where you're kind of playing with fire a little bit and, you know, yeah. maybe you can make it work, but it's it's really high stress, too. Uh, and there's a lot of crazy shit going on all the time, like attacks on your family and personal life and uh, worse. Yeah. He's not we really started to that. turn this into my Q&A here. Does failure still talk to Tonka? Fuck no. <laughs> haven't talked to him since fucking 2018. Yeah. Uh, he's retarded for not fucking popping up, by the way. To fucking grift some dollars out of this. <laughs> That's what I said. I said that on air. Like, I actually reached out to Tonka uh, months ago, and I was serious. Like, all right, whatever. Like, you know. We, we don't like each other, had problems, but, you know, just come on here. Let's have some fun shows. 
Just come in here and rip mm. on Orsky, basically. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, um, like made it a big, like, oh, Ralph reached out. Mm. It's like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you, Tonka. You're a piece of shit. Uh, I just thought it would be funny to have him show up. Like, honestly, we didn't coordinate. You call, you just called in uh, tonight. But, like, I just thought something like that would be, f- I mean, this is cool. Uh, but no, we, basically. We, we've been watching. We've been watching, like, every now and then. Uh, me and uh, Geek Sulu actually so are, are pretty good friends. We we actually realized that fucking Andy was shit talking each each one of us to each other. We used to do that to me. Us. Andy is a manipulator. Yeah. That's what I was talking about earlier. But, all but, this. All right. it, it, yeah. Adol Wolf is in the chat. Like uh, Adol yeah. Wolf, me and me, him and Geek Sulu had a falling out. We were trying to warn Adol Wolf that, you know, Andy was going to do exactly what he did with Kyler. And and even Kyler, I don't hate Kyler. Kyler might fucking, I, might, I think it's fucked up with Kyler, uh, what happened to Kyler, because he got replaced with PPP. Andy at the tour's end basically went like, yeah, I haven't even talked to my co-host in like half a year. <laughs> and it's like, damn. <laughs> Well, yeah, and Worski, like, I talked about this earlier. Worski, like, uses the, oh, I'm Goofy Andy or I'm low IQ or whatever to manipulate, basically. Uh, And he goes to one person and tells them shit about the other or so-and-so's not doing work and it's really me carrying everything. And then when you hear the real story, it was actually Andy not doing work Mm -hmm. nine times out of ten. It was him not doing work or stealing somebody's idea or taking somebody's work acting like he did some work or having this big idea that he never finishes uh and he's gonna sue jared holt or whatever like there's all kinds of just crazy hair well, right? jared taylor first. yeah right <laughs> where he has the where he puts out the video by accident where he's all coked out like yeah there's uh there's some crazy moments but yeah he he would frequently go to people and just lie um, I guess my thing is I brought him back after uh, he had already hit rock bottom and already knew what a piece of shit he was. But he was saying the right things, and I was like, well, I don't know. It's easy content. We'll just put him back on the show. Um, I wish I hadn't done that now. Um, but, no. yeah, <laughs> you know how it is. Like, whatever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's um, he really is a piece of work. Um, and, uh, yeah, you can kind of see that coming uh with with all those guys now what um what have you been up to recently uh, just normie life bro <laughs> just normie stuff now just you mentioned you mentioned geek thulu you mentioned geek thulu now did, were you guys watching this live earlier oh dude dude we were fucking you had just, it, we cracking up like yeah. we couldn't hear each other because each one of us were just yelling so fucking loud <laughs> me him and another person were just fucking just fucking howling because we expected, you know, all right, we didn't expect Andy to win, but at least maybe put on something. It's clear he didn't do the fucking four hours of training or whatever, but at least he was quote unquote, you know, hitting some pads or whatever. But just the fact that he went in, in there so stiff and just got caught. <laughs> He just got worked. Yeah, I mean, whatever he was saying about training, I don't believe he was putting in much training, quite frankly. Um, and literally somebody messaged me. Now, it could be bullshit, but they gave enough information about the place and the boxers that were there. And they're like, yeah, I'm really good friends with one of the top boxers there. And they're like, yeah, he comes in maybe – two or three times a week for like an hour or two at a time. And sometimes he doesn't even come for that third day. And that's about yeah. how much training he's putting in. And he only started coming in like mid June. It's like, okay, well you're going to get destroyed. Uh, a doll wolf send $3. Tell geek. I'm sorry. And I don't hate him. I'd get, he forgives me, but I hold no ill will and hope he's well. I don't, I don't think he will because you, you guys, uh, I, I don't know if it was you or if it was Andy or, you know, combo of the two, but you guys fucking flagged his discord. <laughs> yeah, that is, that's that, that Andy. Andy has a lot of patterns. So we just call from like right now he's, he's acting like, you know, oh, it's all right, but I, I, I'm doing, yeah. I'm doing fine. Yeah, I knew I was going to go in and, and lose. <laughs> I thought I was doing terrible Andy, but this is like the energy of Andy behind the scenes <laughs> that, that like me and Geek feel. Uh, 
basically he's going to go through the pattern of now he's going to be blocking anybody that even mentions the KO within, you know, well, probably it's already happened. I've seen people going like, what the fuck? I'm blocked. <laughs> so that's the pattern. They're going to go on the show and pretend like, okay, all right, look, yeah, I got knocked out. And after, you know, like one show, they're going to be like, all right, no more talking about this. Anybody but talks about it again. Those bands, just bad. <laughs> so, you've seen all the patterns, Ralph. Dude, this is going to be bad. I predicted this before the fight. Um, now, I actually predicted it would hound him into suicide. Now, that might be a little dark. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, you know, I was on a, you know, rhetorical flourish. I was not doing a bit of a riff. Uh, but I will say it's going to be really hard for a motherfucker like Worski to deal with. Uh, and he'll try and try, and then it'll be, like you said, it'll be, like, just ban him. He'll have a meltdown uh, about it, uh, and it'll be a big thing. Like, I, I just don't see him him being able to play this off. He got beat so badly, so decisively, so it was just so clown show. It was like literally you would have maybe fuck Danny Jim by the way. If you went into a ring lasted fifteen seconds everybody he he would be like, you had no business in a ring, Ralph. What were you doing there? (laughs) But because this you know the retarded phoenix head pats head pats all right <laughs> we get it oh you were so offended over a man i'm i'm never gonna fucking back andy worse you, you you're a fucking retard andy you're beyond <laughs> but now you know oh well andy hates ralph by the way isn't it isn't it great timing that when everybody was shitting on ralph <laughs> he's like oh well it was good timing now that everybody kind of uh, stopped watching me <laughs> and I milked Ralph's audience. I better go find a new audience. Well, you know what? I'm glad you said that uh, because he made a really big deal out of AMA, man. You would have thought Andy, like, I mean, he literally went, even I, I remember that. And I kind of, we covered it, but I didn't go that hard on it, even though he had said some shit about me around that time. But I was like, whatever. We just kind of laughed about it. Jim, you would have thought. You know, he was moral fagging about that hardcore. Like, uh, I mean, he can't be trusted. Now, nah. for me, it was just like, well, whatever. Some retarded gun shit, whatever. Who cares? Uh, but Jim was, like, going full moral fag about it. Um, yeah, and if I would have got, I mean, the original point you made, if I would have got destroyed in 15 seconds like that, I mean, that would be, he would be showing that like every day for years. Like, I mean, I can't even, it's not even comprehensible what what would be going on. Oh, all the edits. Oh, are you kidding me? He would songs, have 20 edits right now. Uh, songs, art, it would be, and now it's like, oh, well, at least you showed up. Unlike Ralph and Tonka. First off, I didn't sign any fights. What do you mean? Like Tonka. I didn't sign the fight fight anybody what are you fucking talking about first off second off oh my god it's just complete cope like i don't know uh it's just disingenuous the guy not the first time but yeah that's kind of his that's kind of his style uh, I'm glad you called in. What what prompted you to call in? What what gave you the? Uh, and I saw you, and I, and I thought, I you know what I thought? I was like, I bet that's really failure, uh, is what I thought. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna ca- I'm gonna call on him. Uh, so I'm glad I thought that. You you can only work on so on this for so long without actually saying something. But like, you know, uh, you. You can, you know, stay away, but you, like, you'll still take a peek in there. Then sometimes sure. you're like, ah, I wish I could just so I could jump in and say something. Uh, like I've been looking at cog just to fucking take an advantage of a fucking moment every time. <laughs> like if, if, if you were the fucking king right now where like, you know, you had Jenny Jim's fucking support, you would be on, on your side and not Andy's. <laughs> like, sure. Come on. Yep. Yeah, like yeah. also, what a faggot move! Fucking hiring somebody to go to Portugal to fucking sucker punch you. What a faggot! <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. <laughs> I thought I was about to fight Cog, and then this guy just clocks me in the side of the head. I'm like, if that's why I'm well, laughing, uh, I got hit. Even though he, didn't hard. even know he was with him. No. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I didn't know at all. And if you look at the footage, and I didn't even know this until somebody had pointed it out, that guy's actually 
So I'm on the corner right here, uh, and Cog's like around the corner, in the same building basically right here. Actually, the Dan guy is standing to my right, like unbeknownst to me, uh, and like being a spy basically next to me, and I didn't even know that. So I walk around the corner. Mm -hmm. Me and Cog get in a confrontation. He takes a swing at me. Then the Dan guy, from where he was standing to my right, like comes and hits me in the side of the head, and I didn't even know he was a part of things, right? Like this random guy just all of a sudden starts swinging at me. I was like, oh, shit. So uh, all of a sudden it goes from me and Cog, like, okay, there's a dispute here, uh, to, oh, shit, there's a random guy just hit me in the head. He hit me hard as fuck uh, in the head, right? And so then it's like, uh, I don't know how many people listening have been in, in like an altercation like that, but it's pretty much game over. <laughs> pretty much game over in that situation, unless you're like really skilled or you have a weapon or some kind of backup. Uh, most likely, you're gonna get fucked off in that situation. So that's why you see me laughing and I'm like flipping them off and shit, like because I don't give a fuck. Um, hmm. But yeah, that's that's what happened there. Um, pretty, pretty dastardly, yeah, I'd say. Uh, I would have respected Cog if he would have just came to fight, you know, man to man. But why did he even interject himself? He plus, it's dumb. Fight between you and Andy, he's like, he's like everybody does. Like, oh, Ralph, you had your chance. Well, everything was starting to line up for you and Andy to fight, but at that moment, it's like, fuck that, yeah. Team Star is fucking trying to limit my show. Yeah. Limit how I can fucking do my shit. And now you have this fucking dipshit attacking me. Now I'm going to just focus on doing my show, traveling around. Well, that's <laughs> like, and they, they, they brag about Andy like, oh, look, he's traveling to a city. All right, one city in fucking three years. <laughs> Ooh, how many cities have you visited, bro? Yeah, it's like, oh, he went to London? Dude, I've been all over the world. What the fuck are they talking about? Uh, and all over the country. Yeah, but you've never been to London. <laughs> yes, I have. I've been to London twice before. <laughs> oh, yeah, know, you knew I that. Saw... I know, I forgot. No, Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. That was GPP where he was talking about London like he had never been there. Yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? I was like, dude, I've been to London. London. What the fuck are you? T I don't know. Um, it's it's. Well, it's actually, I forget. I, I forgot. There was w one other place he claimed he went to. He claimed he went to Portugal, but really, he was visiting that e, e girlfriend that wouldn't even kiss him. <laughs> oh, I, I heard about that. Yeah. Oh no, I heard about that too. Gawson talked about that. Uh, a little bit, actually. There was something I was going to say. I can't remember now. What were we just talking about right before that? Uh, uh, visiting around, around the world. Uh, so, visiting around the world, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, it was something about going around the world. Fuck, there was something I was going to say. Um, but, yeah, that's just – it was something about London. Fuck, I can't remember now. Um, you went there twice before. Yeah, it was something. It was something. It was on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. I can't remember. I've I've done too many shows. Uh, I remember when Andy was going to move to the Azores. Yeah, I remember <laughs> for yeah. so fucking long. And he, and he claims he still has money saved up from that, and he's going to buy a house. I remember, uh, like, I, I have done some sock trolling. Uh, and you're right. <laughs> I actually got Monday Madden trouble one time because I showed up to one of his streams as Matt Jarbo <laughs> and he like just fucking his jaw was clenching in rage and he was like fuck you Matt every Friday now we're gonna fuck with you Matt by the way Matt I know you hate Matt I went like you know why why don't why didn't you just try you fucking keep doing your normie shit you had to go come crawling back because now I everybody, everybody hates Ralph <laughs> like really all right they can't the stay away <laughs> yeah they can't stay away they like I mean he he's trying to get some butt you know what I mean like he that would be the smarter thing really but you know he's genuinely mad at me uh, also <laughs> for that stream yeah. you know what I mean so. <laughs> it's it's weird yeah. to me like um i see a lot and you're like uh, yeah why are you getting involved with this yeah uh it is kind of it is kind of suspect now worski in general what do you where do you see him going from here what do you, first off what do you think about the flagging i don't know if you saw they're trying to say bibble like hack their channel or yeah. something and uh it's 
it's very timely every time he has a major event. Remember when he was blaming uh, Ian Malstrom? Yes. And, and, and that girl from California. And then the other time he was blaming Geek Hulu. Yeah. It, 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 like, it just happens, you know, at, at times where, you know, something bad happened for him. And it's almost like he tries to deflect with, <laughs> with a hacking. <laughs> Right. And, uh, yeah, I was trying to, I was going through some of that earlier. Uh, and it's always some really suspect, weird shit. Uh, especially tonight, this didn't make any sense. It happened right when the fight, uh, was going down. There's no evidence presented. All this evidence is available, mind you. Like, you can log in. Like, it'll easily tell you if you get hacked. All these accounts are linked together. How does he keep getting hacked? Failure, like there's yeah. something wrong here. How does he keep getting is hacked? He, is he trying to blame Bibble? Yeah, well, PPP is blamed Bibble. Uh, Worski is not officially blamed Bibble, but I mean, he hasn't. I, I don't, I don't know who's here. Is Bibble even here? Or yeah, he's here. I am. Okay. Uh, have you ever like really talked shit on Andy since? Like, uh, I don't even know why you guys stopped. Uh, honestly, I think that's a stupid project. The the two cats thing that would have had a chance for Nori them, but it's clear that he can't keep his mind on on any projects for longer. If it's not making money instantly, all right, next project. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, his main problem. He ki- he killed the Kumite because y'all didn't make enough money one week. Uh, like, literally. Um, that was dumb even back then, honestly. Um, and it's because Worski's always, like, just completely obsessed. Oh, with the cash. Uh, yeah, I never got that money that he stole from me either. It, w- w- was, PayPal? Uh, was, yeah, I also talked to, like, uh, Alex recently, you know. Yeah. My name, Alex. Yeah. But apparently, he was lying to uh, – Andy was lying to him, saying that I ran off with a bunch of money that they were supposed to use for travel, when in reality, doing the IRL stream of Andy left me so broke that I left to Miami with, like, only, like, fucking $40 to my name. <laughs> That's how bad. Because every day, like, he has no fucking plan in. It, like I guarantee you, whatever fucking money from the purse is already spent on fucking Ray Bans. <laughs> this guy yeah. is terrible. He's not yeah. capable of taking care of himself as an adult. Like I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's the language language barrier here? Can you can you say the N slur here? Uh, I'd uh, I'd rather uh, not, not. I mean, uh, it won't shut us well, down. He's a he, he's, he's a certain a, rich. Yeah, let's just say. <laughs> yeah, he's just a, a nigga rich, rich. We'll say. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, he's a he's a he's really just terrible. Like the flying into um, Nashville instead of Knoxville. It's just uh, mm-hmm. an em- emblematic. Uh, he left me with a ton of like rent payments that I still had to pay on that apartment. This guy came to America and just like basically lived on other people's dime and fucking grifted for like six months and then just cashed out, went back to Canada and left everybody else with the bill. And I still had to pay that apartment rent every fucking month. And he just left. Uh, and yeah, we weren't getting no. along at the time. Yeah, that's true. But you can't just fucking tell somebody you're moving in and go half on an apartment and then just leave one day. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's I, not. I, I never got your side of the story. So before he left to Orlando, he he called and went in a big old panic. I, I can't handle it anymore. Ralph is stealing my alcohol and wants to fight me because he thinks I'm hitting on Nora. What, what, what I didn't the, try the to fight him. That? I got into an argument with Nora there, but it wasn't like a fight with Worski. Uh, cool. And we had already had the falling out after Miami. So we had an yeah. argument, but it wasn't even with Worski. And then I left. Like, I didn't even, I was like, all right, I'm out of here. And so me and her both left. And then, uh-huh. like, I went back to... My mom's house, you know, my mom's house is out of place yeah. there too. And so I stayed there and then <laughs> the next morning I wake up and he's like gone. Like he just left mm-hmm. and left all of his stuff there too. So, which I gave most of that to this black dude. There was a black dude who lived across the street from my mom who I'd let right. fucking rent that apartment for like half price because it was better than me paying like the full price. 
Uh, so it's just like, yeah, you can move in. Uh, so I let him move in there, and he's got most of Andy Worski's stuff. Uh, I forget what what it was I did keep. I can't remember, but uh, pretty much he got all of his stuff, including the PlayStation and the computer and all that stuff. So I think he's got a lot of the old Worski Live uh, relics and stuff in his possession now. Uh, fucking with with your mom dying they they did you dirty I I try to leave people's families out of it you know like even with Tonka uh, outside of like you know I I would throw his his mother some dick but that's because they don't even have a fucking real uh, mother son relationship so whatever Uh, but I I always tried to leave uh, the the grandmother alone and all that shit like that Uh, but did you ever like a while back uh i actually i think it was like during like the twisted mind era (laughs) somebody sent me a clip where andy was doing his he was streaming after you right because you had the prime time slot so he he basically had to take the conan spot (laughs) that's right to be the bitch uh and so he would be up like until like what three four in the morning screaming I, I can only imagine what the neighbors are what we're, we're fucking thinking, right? So he's up until like three, four in the morning screaming in a one bedroom apartment with his like, you know, parents who fucking scrub toilets for a living. Uh apparently one night his mom was talking to a relative or something, like long distances. <laughs> and she was having, you know, a good time talking to the relative. And he ran out of the room to go scream at her because she was speaking too loudly in her house. It's just, like, what the fuck is that? Uh, <laughs> Mom, please, you're embarrassing me. Or that, 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 I don't know if you saw when his dad put him to bed. Did you see that one? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I was, I, dad, I, don't I, touch I think it. I Tico, Tico actually used one of the clips that I put don't online on Don't touch it. On don't yeah. touch it, Dad. Dad, don't touch it. Oh, come on. Oh, dude, it's brutal. Tell us, how about this? What Andy nice. Worski? What Andy Worski? Be nice, Andy. Oh, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Finish no, no, no. No, his dad was be nice. Be <laughs> yeah. Nice. Be nice, Andy. Yeah, he'd done that before. He'd done that before, clearly. Now, what Andy Worski? Yeah, he's at his lowest point. Uh, he still he mm. cheated you out of money. He's he's treated you poorly. Uh, he's a complete mm. faggot and a manipulator and a piece of shit. I mean, we both know that. Well, uh, I don't have to. Mm. Conv- I don't have to convince you of that. Um, yeah. Now, all that being said, what can you tell us about Worski that he doesn't want us to know that we don't know um, in any well, regard? Uh... I already told you about the abortion. This is just That's that true. <laughs> now, wait. Now, why don't you tell? Why don't we hear it first? Okay, you know what? First off, I want to hear more about more stuff. But about the abortion, what? just yeah. tell us that. Like, give, give us a replay. Well, of m- me and Geek didn't even know that each other knew <laughs> until, like, we were no longer friends with them. And we would, like, we were, uh, I forget who brought it up, but he called each one of us individually. I think he called me first and then he called me and like he, when he called me, he, he was, well, originally he, he, he was, he called me before their abortion to go like, Oh, she's pregnant, dude. I don't want to be a father. I'm not ready for this is my end of my life. Like dude, man, up. <laughs> like I would never, I, like, I don't want kids. But if it ever, ever happened, I'm, I'm going to be the best father I can be. Like, you got to fucking man up in a moment like that. You, as a as a, as a father right now, you got a kid in the house. You, you just got to fucking right. deal with it. You got to fucking make your priorities. Like, hey, this is my blood right now. <laughs> uh, but so he was fucking weeping and trying to, like, beg her to get an abortion. And finally, you know, was, um, because he was holding her papers over her head to be a citizen. She's now a, a, a citizen of Canada. But he was like holding her paper saying she was going to burn them up. He was going to destroy them if she didn't get the abortion. So she was pretty much blackmailed into getting said abortion. Now, this is just, you know, my word. So who's to believe me, you know? Uh, but at this point, like, what do I have to fucking, you know, <laughs> lie about? Uh, but so fast forward to the abortion is done. 
he drove her to the abortion. So him claiming that she went and got the abortion because originally he said he, she got the abortion without him knowing <laughs> that's bullshit because you drove her. <laughs> and so he, uh, you know, brought her back. She's on the bed crying and he's playing his bing bing wahoo and he's pissed off because she wants him to go comfort comfort her and instead of doing that he fucking calls me and geek like just fucking crying about like poor me (laughs) by the way i want to give and i want to go right back to this but for those who don't know or just joining us this is failure uh, used to be co-host of the Kumite, kind of one of the key figures uh, in the Internet Blood Wars era uh, and was in a lot of the early kill stream of the successful 2018 year, uh, some of those episodes. Uh, and we ain't seen him for a while, but he was close associates with Worski and kind of going through some things. He's talking about the the abortion uh, incident here that Worski was bragging about, laughing about recently on the show, and we covered it. Uh, but he actually heard it, you know, firsthand while it was while it was going on now what what is what was he what was the tenor of the conversation now you said he was whining about himself basically but like what like what was his position what was that how is that even possible anyway that he just wanted to play video games and like he, <laughs> what he's basically the fuck? a child man is, no wait yeah, he, literally that's what he was saying yeah he was playing video games and she was asking him to you know, go in there and be with her. And instead of going and doing that, he had a little tantrum and went and called both me and Geek separately. And we didn't even know that this happened. And uh, when we were done being friends with, with Andy, we were, you know, just relating stories and stuff like that. Sure. And we're like, oh, he did that? He, he, he called you too? God damn. <laughs> All right. he, he, he got beat up by her a couple of times. Old, that, that old Irish woman fucking rage, but who knows? Uh, like, I, it was awkward because one time I was on a call as he was just, dude, get out. You're, you're fucking crazy. You're crazy. I swear she did. You better fucking get out. <laughs> Oh, dude, he claimed that to me. He actually sent me a picture. I wish I still had it, but I got banned on that Discord account. But he sent me a picture of, like, a bruise he claimed, uh, like, came from Sinead one time and shit. He was like, here, I just want there to be proof. And, like, I was like, okay, Uh dude. Uh, Dude. Yeah. uh, Sometimes me and Geek go, like, this guy's retarded. Why were we friends with him? <laughs> because I, I truly considered him a friend. I try, I mean, I try to treat him like I would anybody else, but he's always maneuvering. Like, you can't, and you always see him do it, and then you're like, all right, well, all right. I remember when we, when I brought him back, and it's like, all right, well, let's just not have any misunderstandings, mm-hmm. and we'll just always be straight up. And it's like, sure enough, that's not, mm-hmm. that's just not how <laughs> he operates. <laughs> The frustrating thing about when, uh, you know, because at that point, like me and you were like, all right, fucking burn bridges. <laughs> we, we don't care. We're done with this guy. We don't want him back in our life. So let's fucking just, you know, on our way out, just fucking. And like, he denied the abortion thing for so long. And then finally he switched it to like, yeah, she got an abortion, but I didn't know. And fast forward to, I ate aborted children and blunders. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you know, the whole blackmail fucking thing, he might deny it. Fast forward six months, he'll be like, yeah, fuck her. I I was going to destroy the fucking papers. (laughs) Now, another thing he would do, and I've said this before, uh, and I know you know, I'm I'm thinking you probably know this, but he would always, he would get nude pictures from women, and he would always, like, try to make you look at them. Okay, this is a perfect one because... It was so frustrating as a friend where you're trying to help him out. Remember that one with the Mopra tattoo on her chest? Yes. She was hot, too. Right. I liked her. She was nice, right. too. She was funny. I actually liked her. Like, not like, 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 but, like, I mean, she would be cool. Like, she, I, you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, she'd be cool to hang mm-hmm. out with, right? And she was funny. Like, yeah. But, but yeah, I, I'd fuck her. Yeah. Uh, but, so, <laughs> at, at that point, like, everybody shit on him you're one of the fucking few people that still trying to fucking defend them. So you go like, look, uh, I, I hear your story. You're, you're saying that you 
uh, DM'd yourself the picture from your from your phone because it was on the text messages, but you wanted to put it on Twitter so you could see it on your monitor bigger. And like people like Todd were like, no, no, that, that's impossible. And it's like, no, Todd, you can DM yourself something like that. So, but my point was, Andy, show me the DM. That way, I could you know at least go like, look. Uh, Hold on one second. Well, I'm not well, sure if it's well, already been said, but Worski is lucky his head hit the bottom rope. That was a soft landing. Yeah, that was going to be worse. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, yeah. finish your thoughts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was going to say, like, you know, at least that way I could be like, look, I saw I saw the DM that he sent to himself. The timestamp is way before this event or whatever. Instantly, he just starts freaking out, like, why, why, why you don't believe me? Like, dude, dude, uh, like, and as a friend, you go, like, no, dude, I, I believe you. All right, I'll just take your word. But in reality, it's like, why don't you just show me? Make it so fucking easy. <laughs> why? Because chances are he probably did fucking. And, and well, that's when you know. He contacted the police. Yeah, did right. he ever show one police report? Of course not. Are you saw police reports? Yeah. Right? Yes, I have. Uh, and he's bullshitting and he was lying then and it was clear. Um, but it's one of those things where it's like, uh, whatever. But in reality, when, when somebody does something like that, you know, they did it right. Like, even if you're friends with him, you're like, oh, okay, he really reacted poorly to that. I guess he probably, you know, uh, I guess he did it. But to me, to me, it was just obvious he did it because his excuse didn't make any sense that he sent it to himself, but he never showed any proof that he did that. At all? No. Not no. at all. Not a screenshot, no. a blurred screenshot. No. Nothing. No. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. I mean, it's just safe to say. And then, what, hackers had that, and they were po posting nude photos, but they didn't post your DMs, and they DM'd people all this stuff, but they didn't post some of your old DMs? Like, it just doesn't make sense if they were really trying to embarrass you. Like, and he, he, he tried to stick it on Ian Armstrong and yeah. also said he doesn't use a, a fuck me, I'm a boomer. What was the fucking to, to change your IP to another country or whatever? A fucking, VPN. Uh, yeah, he claimed he, he's never used a VPN, but meanwhile, he's had VPN sponsors before where he's claimed he uses the VPN. He's he, he's a boomer with OBS, so he always shows his desktop, and you can see the VPN fucking icon on the desktop. So, yeah, you, can, you, you easily fucking could have fucking sprained the mouse charm. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Now, uh, all right, now let's see. So the abortion story... What else? Would, just that he doesn't, like, that's not known about Worski. Or just some observation uh, that maybe the audience doesn't know. Some people who don't know some of the old lore or just something that's, like, buried. Something he would really oh. just hate being out oh, there yeah. on an evening like tonight. Oh, he was an idiot. But he had a, a roommate that was associated with the Hells Angels that used to be his drug dealer. He was stealing coke from, and he would also take his uh, legal weapons <laughs> and wave them in front of the camera. And that one time, he like pointed at his head, and he had to yell at him like, "Hey, retard, what are you doing?" And, and so, uh, like, not only is it dangerous, but you're holding a weapon that could be associated with crime. And he says, "Oh yeah." So he he wipes off the print with prints off the gun with one hand while also grabbing the gun with his other hand, which still has prints on it, so this is the type of forensic <laughs> intelligence we have. <laughs> yeah, fucking CSI Worski over here. Yeah, I can see. Uh, don't, worry, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, I got this. Let me spit on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let, me, let me spit on it and clean it real nice. <laughs> he's so dumb, dude. Like, I swear. Uh, what about his whole clean living? Oh, 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 yeah. That's another thing that made no sense. This is a story from Geek. He claims that he stole uh, coke from the roommate, right? But yeah. he stole too much, so he cut it with pre-workout powder, right? And which makes no sense because pre-workout powder was blue. <laughs> so he cut it with pre-workout powder. And then claims that he uh, put it under his car tire to pack it. <laughs> yeah, he had a lot of fantastical stories uh, about cutting with that. Yeah, I don't believe that. Uh, but, but how do you pack coke 
by driving over. Of course, over he's not smart enough to cut cocaine with anything. I'm like, what the fuck? This retard and get away with it. Um, <laughs> by the way, how satisfying was it just seeing this earlier? Like, I just can't. I, I, I um, just thought it was one of the greatest things ever. Dude, I was, I was just screaming. I was, like, at first, you, like, you, you think, like, you know, all right, this is going to start slow, especially after the uh, Sam Hyde yeah. one, which is a little bit sluggish. <laughs> and I, I really don't know much about this salt poppy guy, but he delivered like a motherfucker. <laughs> Dude, he really did. Well, yeah. Well, plus it's like, you know, most fights don't end in a sensational knockout right at the beginning. So you're sitting there, you're like, all right, maybe it's going to. You know, it's going to be a minute, but it wasn't, dude. It was just, like, immediate. Mm-hmm. It's the feet. Like, just watch Worski, his, his feet. I've said this a million times tonight on the Encore, but, like, his feet are just not moving confidently. His movements, he's, he's just, like, shrinking back like this. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing at all. Um, this is just, oh, God, I can just watch this. I think we might play this every night from now on, Failure. Hey, oh, please do. You'd like this to make that part of your intro, outro, yeah. whatever, but yeah. all these people patting him on the back. Like, aren't you people against participation trophies? This is basically what you're giving them is participation trophies. You showed up and got knocked out like a bitch. He didn't train at all. But I can't say not at all, but he trained the minimum. Yeah. 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 That's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah, I wouldn't say he didn't train at all, but he clearly didn't train that much. I mean, look at him. He's not fucking in that good no, of shape. I, what I think he did was he probably went to the gym, did some curls, did some basic shit, fucking constantly told, like, talked to people at the gym, like, about his internet fucking shit. Like, uh, one twist of mind clip that I got sent was him bragging about like how his his uh, sister Melanie, you know, the one that had come all over her face. Yeah, uh, she was over with her uh, with her boyfriend, and he's just talking to me about how how much of a big piece of shit Mersh is, <laughs> and fucking like who, who the fuck cares? It's Thanksgiving, bro, or, or fucking Christmas. I forget which one it was. But, would you like, fuck Worski's she- sister, by the way? He got oh, uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I would too. I mean, I yeah. said that, and they they thought that that was out of line. I mean, I think she would probably get a kick out of that, honestly, just to get back at Andy. I'm sure he's a piece of shit. Imagine that's your brother. That's <laughs> just, I mean, um, but uh, yeah. Mel, yeah. Oh, uh, here's a piece of shit I was about to say. If, if uh, I got it with his sister and got married, he ain't invited to the wedding. But that wouldn't stop him from coming. <laughs> Apparently, uh, with do you remember Chris Warkey? Yeah. All right, so dude got married. He's he's doing great in life. I, I've talked to him. I'm, sadly, I didn't follow his advice, but his, his advice was don't fall for his, you know, uh, his stick of, like, you know, Oh well, he's my friend or whatever. Let me give him another chance. It's always gonna fucking. He's always yeah. just gonna take advantage of you. Uh, but yeah, dude is doing fine. Has you know uh, his own business and shit like that. Well, he he got married, uh, and uh, when they were still friends, Andy had an invite. But you'd assume you're no longer friends. You had this big falling out and shit. You keep accusing him of stealing money, even though you know he gave you the money uh, back. <laughs> I'm like, who, who has charged money people out back? And uh, but so he shows up to the wedding. I mean, well, invited, but it's kind of you know already assumed. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he shows up and. Yeah, it, his his wife had to like hold him back from you know confronting them, and he just what a piece of fucking shit move. So Worski like, actually what, what, showed up to that after he talked all that yeah. shit. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it, it's specifically just to fuck with Chris. Let me ask you this: What is Chris Worski's uh, like um, relationship with Worski? Like, how do they know each other? I think they were like co- like college friends. Apparently, Andy went to like some like arts, uh, not arts, like like a movie class. So like you basically like community community college movie. Not thing. related at all. 
No, no, no. There were three Worskis. So it was Chris, Andy, and Joe. Joe who left because he was super lefty, and Andy was going down the right, uh, down the route of just being edgy. And, fucking and they didn't the know limits. each other when they were like younger. Like he didn't like Andy's no. family didn't like half adopt Chris Worski or something. No, no, no. They they met when they were in their twenties. Okay, maybe I yeah, misunderstood. Yeah, no. Uh, but like you know, Chris was basically you know a really good friend. Like, uh, what, what, uh, well, you met Polly, right, Ralph? Yeah, was fucking, yeah in Miami, right? Was, yeah, yeah. Uh, he he was one of Andy's good friends. Uh, <laughs> he he's you know talked about how like nobody really likes Andy, especially the black friends, because of some of the stuff that Andy has put. <laughs> like one wants to you know actually you know knock him out. Unfortunately, Salt Poppy's already done it. <laughs> but, uh, one one day. Uh, oh wait, one sec. Wait, wait. White powder oh, sent three dollars. Swarovski v Dingo uh, at Wrestlemania two. I don't know about that. Go ahead, finish your thought. So I I totally forgot about this until I was going through uh, a folder with a bunch of videos from uh, Miami, and I was like just going through it while talking to Geek to see what was in there before I like just like. I've deleted a bunch of shit. Like this, besides working and shit, I'm kind of done with that. This chapter of my life, the failure chapter. <laughs> sure. Uh, and but I was like going through just to see if there was anything. There's a part where we, me, Polly, and Andy were in the elevator, and Andy all of a sudden reaches into his pants and starts to pull out his dick. <laughs> it only half comes out. And in the video, you see that it's like fucking hard. And I'm just like, why are you hard when you're in the fucking elevator with your two male friends? <laughs> yeah. I was going to ask you did, if you thought Andy Worski possibly there was a lot of gay, gay shit. Like look at with Alex. I think Alex yeah. sent it out, you know, look at the stuff with PPP. <laughs> yeah. Look that, at the stuff with Kyler all the time, you know. Yeah, making yeah. out on air with the uh side to side view or whatever. When he put his head in Kyler's lap, he would uh do gay shit quite frequently. That's not just a um, I don't know. It was just kind of a common trait of his. Uh, let's see. How do you get failure to come on? He said he never. God, this is a special occasion. I mean, I can come on here, Alex. <laughs> I've been trying to talk to Alex for a minute, but he's too fucking busy with that married life. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I just had open calls, and it said failure, and I was like, yeah, and I said this already, but I was like, yeah, it probably is failure because it just makes it just made sense. It just fit the mm -hmm. story. You know what I mean? I was like, that's failure probably. Uh, and then it was, you know, of course, I know your voice very well. I think most yeah. <laughs> if people heard the shows, they would know it too. Uh, but yeah. uh, I was like, oh, well, immediately I knew it was you too, so. Oh. Uh, Charlie, trust me, uh, the people that hate me, I, I, I'm not going to be coming back. No, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. Yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. Uh, it's fun for – I love that you stopped by, uh, but also yeah. it's one of those one-time things where you can kind of indulge for a night, call in, uh, you know, shit on Warski, remember a couple of his uh, embarrassments, celebrate him getting knocked out, and then it doesn't have to be your everyday, um, you know, thing too, so – uh, Alex yeah, says he'll come okay. on. Alex said he's gonna come on. Yeah, yeah, come on then, call but, in. But yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, me, me, and Alex, like, uh, like I feel a lot of uh, the whole shit had to do with me and Alex not getting along with what Andy was fucking saying in the background to either of us, like the so, typical shit. Well, yeah, I mean that's kind of his mo. Uh, to say a bunch of shit to, he'll use that to manipulate people basically and pit them against each other. Um, so that's kind of. Uh, by the uh, way, I, I love the, how easy it is to get under his skin. And one night, uh, 
Geek never never really fucked with him like this, but I enjoyed fucking with him like with some socks or going on the firms to fucking leave some comments. <laughs> I'll let you guess who I am. But uh, one, one time we were uh, making fun of this chip too. <laughs> And dude, dude, like he's just so fucking like transparent. <laughs> like that really fucked with him to the point that like he ended like a show early. Like, like just just own like this whole thing where he's pretending like yeah yeah I got fucked up. They didn't. No, that, this is everybody else telling him like dude just own it. And, and own it that way you can move on. No, no. That, that's not the real Andy. The real Andy is the guy that fucking cowers in a little ball and starts crying, kind of like on the stool. Dude, you saw his face. He wanted to start crying. 100% he wanted to start crying. Uh, and even in the video he put out, you can tell he's, like, trying to trying to hold back. Oh. But if you watch him right after the fight especially, like, uh, but look at his eyes oh. here. Like, he, this is, like, pure cope. Oh uh, yeah, Alex. I had the same boomer moment. It's been like two, three years since I've used anything, so I had no idea how to get onto this Telegram. Just uh, search for what is it, the Ralph report? Yeah, or, yeah. That's, it, yeah. That's it. yeah. You can just search on Telegram and find it. Also, uh, Telegram is pretty awesome, actually. Um, go ahead, yeah. Alex. Uh oh. Yeah. What's up? Oh, uh, I think you. Yeah, so forgot how to unmute. Oh, uh, yeah, person. you have to unmute yourself, yeah. so. Yeah. All right, is that good? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. What's up, man? What do you think about today? This is AMA Alex. Oh, we were screaming when it happened. It was hilarious. <laughs> Dude. And then uh, seeing the uh, the pre-fight, like, conference they had, we we yeah. found that after the fact, and all the shit talk he was doing to Salt Poppy. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Right. I'm gonna bend you over. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I just couldn't believe King like simping for him though. Like, oh, it's a strength for skills. Like, I'm in the same shape right now, and I'm actually pretty far out of shape. And Salt mm-hmm. Poppy had twice the size of his arms, just the muscle alone. Like he had, and he had a beer gut. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and also you're right. He just looks much weaker. Then saw Poppy, like, you're right. Like, and he was in better physically. shape, honestly, back when we were doing streams. Yeah. He was actually going to the gym, like, three times a week at least. I mean, he was better shape in Knoxville, I would say. Now, he was skinnier, yeah. but, like, he just, I mean, you can just tell Saw Poppy just looks way more dangerous, more powerful. Yeah, his arms are way bigger, like. Well, he, yeah, I was watching clips of him, and even when he was uh, still pretty uh, chubby, the guy was moving fast. You could tell as soon as he slimmed down or got some muscle. That's going to be it. Oh, dude. Well, well, just the movements. If you see how Andy is moving from him, it, 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 he has no plan. And he's just cowering almost. <laughs> if well, you, if you I look mean, at Shelly, did you, see, did you see Andy's eyes? Those were the same eyes as when the guys were approaching us in clear water. He was already blocked out. Because I don't know if you remember, he was like, after that happened, he was like, I don't remember anything. You guys got to tell me what happened so I can tell the cops. Because I don't remember anything. I was blocked out. I'm like... <laughs> I think he was blacked out for the whole fight. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> well, I hope he wasn't because I want him to uh, remember that, recall it. I think yeah. he, I look at his face after this face after the fight. It was priceless, honestly. I just can't get over it. Yeah, he was about to cry. Oh. Oh. By the way, the the reason that he looks like he, in that last picture you showed, where where you really see his gut, I think it's the fact that he got knocked out. His muscles are no like his brain's not telling his muscles they like, took in that gut. <laughs> so oh, that's yeah, why he, he was looks like Yeah. Oh yeah, you mean at the end where they show that? Yeah, you mean where yeah. you can really see the gut hanging out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he he's not thinking about his his gut at all. But like, how dare fucking PPP Nicholas Dorio tipster talk about you being fat? <laughs> Three of them combined, holy shit! Each one of those <laughs> motherfuckers are boat. way fat. I mean, tipster's got a problem. He's in PPP zone. Like that guy's actually fucking huge. Tipster's just a salty faggot. Like I don't know. <laughs> Um, Dude, I, I I used to I used to have no problem with Tipster, but like I, I have no problem talking to him. But, but I tell him, Same. "Dude, you just jump from ship to ship to yeah. ship to ship. You, you have like 
Come on. Like, I don't have also any real beef. About. Yeah, I mean, I have no real beef with him. But, yeah, it's like you said. He's always mm. out, yeah, just jumping from ship to ship and out there running his mouth, talking shit. And he's just, I don't like, I mean, he's kind of corny to me, too. So, I'm like, whatever. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I saw him out. They're trying. They're really trying hard to give Andy the participation trophy for going out there and just mm. getting absolutely obliterated, which I don't understand. If he'd have lasted even a round, I could see how you could say that. Um, yeah, like, but no. Like the same motherfuckers that went hard and criticized in Tonka will fucking oh, let dude. Andy slide yeah. on a lot of the same things. And it's like, why? <laughs> oh, well, yeah, uh, the so coke he, that they're using. I'm saying the coke that they're using is just saying, oh, this is what Ralph ran away from. It's like, you didn't well, run away from the fight. You just said, with all the shit they're pulling, you're not going to do something that's going to make him money. Well, also, and I'm glad but, uh, I'm glad that was pointed also, out. I talked to, and I talked about this on air. I had a call with Worski and PPP off air, and we talked about doing the fight and doing it regardless of if it was with Keem or not, and actually just mm, making yeah, sure they, the they fight. Well, no, we, we talked about we were going to do it. And we were going to do it. And then the Cog thing happened. Cog inserted himself, and then they, then they were all yeah. promoting that shit and, like, making that a thing, like, that was cool. And so I said, fuck that. I was like, I don't want to work with these people. Like, I'm not fucking making this fucker any money. And that was the fight exactly. people really want to see anyway. And so then Warsky gets it in his head that he's still going to go fight, and Keem uses him like a dumb bitch that he is. Uh, not Kane, Morsky, and, you know, he gets clowned on. But really, you know, it was him that started up the fight thing to fight me. Like, he talked himself into this, you know what I mean? Like, this wasn't really something that Yeah, I wouldn't say it's uh, bravery for stepping in the ring. It was more What's well, idiocy? Like, What's well, idiocy? I, I was saying, I wouldn't, like, I'd fight Saul Poppy in, like, a spar for fun. Like off camera, like I, I would be bold enough to like, uh, step in a ring with him, but I would never think I'm good enough to step into a professional ring. I'm not fighting Saul Poppy for any reason. Like, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I just don't see. I don't re- see a real reason for that. Um, I mean, if it was like a really big payday, like it was really worth my while. Ten grand is not. Sorry, if it was, it would have to be fifty and above for me to even think about fighting Saul Poppy. Well, I would imagine they had to pay for their plane tickets Probably and stuff like that. Probably a hundred legit. Well, yeah, I think he probably, probably got the plan. spent all that already because he's splitting it with Ashton, and uh, that's probably what three grand just to fly there and back each, and then I don't even think fifty would be worth it. You saw how quick Andy spent money in Miami; all that money's gone. I don't think fifty would even be worth it. A hundred grand guaranteed, I would think about it, but even <laughs> that is kind of like I don't know. Like this guy's. I don't think fifty's worth it, honestly. A hundred grand guaranteed, and I would think about it. I would think about it, and most I don't even know. It'd probably still be no. Like oh, I don't know. This guy uh, actually, it, it's good that Alex is here. Alex, you were actually a witness for uh, when Andy curled up in a ball after fucking Mersh and Royce left. <laughs> Oh, God, yeah. Taylor had to remind me of that. I had forgotten about that instance. Uh, they came to visit us in Orlando uh, when we were at the condo hotel thing. And uh, they had to awkwardly leave. Now, who is they? Wait, wait, wait. Who is they? Say, Andy started crying. Now, who is they? Tell the story. Just tell the story. Uh, I'm telling you remembers a little bit more of it than I do. Okay, but, uh, okay. I'll, I'll tell the story real quick. Uh, you yeah. fill anything that I might. Yeah. Uh, right. So the story is we had to go to Disney the next day. Um, Mersh and Royce visited uh, just to say, hey, what's up? And so we're having a few drinks. No problem. Andy started to drink four locos. He's never had four locos before, and you know that they fucking hit you a little hard, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, he's gonna get all fucked up and not want to wake up early in the morning because these two motherfuckers went to like a pyramid scheme, scheme thing <laughs> to get some fucking Visa gift cards uh, to afford the the fucking entrance into Disney because we were fucking pretty much almost fucking broken. We needed that to get into the fucking perks, uh, so. Like trying to be the responsible one, I go like Andy, uh, drink some water, bro. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he like snaps at me about uh, how I'm not his mom uh, or whatever, I'm not his dad. What? And and we had our agreement that if like one of us gets on each other's nerves before we fucking fight, you know, pineapple. And, and, yeah, pineapple and agreements with like you know, let's not do a Miami thing. 
one uh, whoever needs to go for a walk, go for a walk. So I said, I'm I'm going for a walk, Andy. I, I'm not so pineapple, yeah. So I go for a walk and I, you know, leave. I tell Andy, but apparently he didn't tell anybody else. So it just looks like I awkwardly just left. <laughs> yeah, I come back 15 minutes later and I'm calmer. <laughs> And like I, so I come back. I enter the room, and he's like, like he sees me, and I see him like staring me down. He says, "Got a fucking problem?" <laughs> I go, "Actually, I do. <laughs> I told you, you, you have to, you know, go to Miami tomorrow, and uh, just try and watch out for you, and tell you to drink some water. I'm not telling you to stop drinking. I'm telling you to drink water because just that way." You're not going to be all fucked up in the morning. Uh, and you, you, you're giving me a shitty attitude. And that was too much for him to handle. He storms off. Tell me if I'm wrong uh, here, Alex. He storms off to his room, slams the door in the Airbnb that's on my card. <laughs> yep. I, I get very pissed off at that point. <laughs> Alex, I think you, were, you held me back from going and, and confronting him. Yeah. And I think, did you end up talking to him, or did you just like let, let, let him let him be? Yeah, I'm we like, just no, let him cool it off in the room. Yeah, I told him not. Well, so, like, you know, if he starts punching walls and shit, I'm calling the cops. I'm throwing him out yep. of here. <laughs> and so, like, finally, Royce and Mercer, are like, oh, this is awkward. But uh, <laughs> Alex, uh, George, anytime you're you know, in Orlando, hit us up, man. We'd love to have you on. Like, by the way, Royce, awesome uh, dude, Mersh, awesome dude. Yeah, I, I agree. Warm Mersh, oh, do yeah. not associate with fucking Andy. He's going to fucking backstab you. Look what happened. Uh, but, yeah, so they leave awkwardly. <laughs> so it's just me, Alex, in the kitchen. Uh, and finally, Andy, like, walks out to go, you know, smoke a cigarette outside. Well, and, Andy had uh, already been crying before that because that's what really got them uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 had already started crying. Uh, so he uh, he he ends up you know storming out of his room, walking by us like we're not even there, opening the balcony door, going outside, you know, closing it all angrily and shit. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm gonna talk to him because we can't do this. We we need to squash this tonight. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna deal with this. Right. <laughs> so I I opened the balcony door and I said as soon as I stuck a foot out there and I understand it was a big motherfucker you know you don't know that balcony might fall fucking off the side <laughs> and everybody dies <laughs> but yeah motherfucker cowered up into a little ball and like like a retard was just bawling I was kind of like Miami uh, yeah <laughs> yeah and like instead of pulling out a phone or, or fucking yeah and, and just fucking you know recording that to put him on blast me and Alex had to comfort him and pick him up. Oh, like, comfort. Yeah, like Damn. You. That's kind of, he has a, it's like a, it's uncomfortable type breakdown though. Like it's where it's mm-hmm. like, uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There were uh, quite a few of them. Yeah. Like, like, in reality, me and Alex should have just grabbed him and threw him off the box. Well, yeah. Down. Like, <laughs> 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 like, well, I mean, it's a thing he's doing. I mean, you know, it's histrionics, right? Uh, it's very mm-hmm. womanly. Uh, but like when he did that to me, I was like, okay. Um, I just went in there yeah, to talk to him man to man, you know, like have a serious talk. Like, all right, we need to figure this out. Like, this is not working. Like, let's. You know, we need to talk, right? And he just fucking completely lost his shit, started yelling and screeching, and literally in the fetal position uh, in the corner there. I was, like, uncomfortable. And he's doing that loudly, like, in the hotel. Oh, where yeah. I'm like, okay. He heard it up and down. Yeah, first. right. Where I'm like, okay, just whatever. Just leave, man, whatever. I'm on probation. I was on probation from my, where I went to jail for eight months. And somebody had try, tried to call the police on me that night. As a matter of fact, on some bullshit Zoom or somebody. Yeah, Zoom did. I barely kept you yeah. out of jail that night. Yeah, exactly. You leave, even if you had interacted with the cops. Oh, I was ready to go. Like, I was like, okay, I'm gone. Like, right. I was about to leave the state of Florida. Right. Like, I was like, I got to get out of the Ralph, state. Yeah. Ralph, can I share a, a story that kind of puts you in a bad light? <laughs> sure, <laughs> if you want. All right. <laughs> if you want me to fucking become your enemy, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. All right. So one one night you had a little bit too much Maker's Mark. <laughs> you made your way to the lobby, and we got to the hotel uh, because we went to go buy Cuban sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and we had to lure you back up to the room of a Cuban. Oh, that was the, that was the uh, day I met him. Yeah, oh, yes. I think that was the yeah. same time. By the way, I love Cuban sandwiches; they are delicious. Yeah, and I think uh, from the fucking best place. Man. Oh, dude, I fucking remember from the Versailles. sandwich now that you mentioned it. Uh, I can like taste the sandwich a little bit, but uh, yeah. yeah, that was um, the night. And I, better than a drunk sandwich. Oh, dude, so good. That was the night. Me and see, and I forgot about this, and I still don't really remember. But apparently, I almost got in a fight with Alex. Too. Yeah, you, you, to me. Me. you were you were trying to fight me. You you took a swing at me at one point oh, in the dude. smoking area, and then I I handed you a sandwich, and you got very like very zen. <laughs> like, all right. I was fucked up that trip, and I remember because I told Alex. Uh, to I had gotten some Xanax basically during the trip, uh, and so I was a little like fucked up more normally than I would be. So there's a couple periods that I actually did use Xanax. They try to say that I use Xanax all the time, which I don't. But one of them was the Miami Miami trip, um, <laughs> and so I actually was on Xanax during uh, most of that trip. So that's why, like, I'm I'm more fucked up than usual there. Uh, and then there was like a month in 2019 that summer where I was like really fucked up, uh, where the pills. Well, yeah, we know you don't use them all the time because the. Well, no, because I couldn't. Fu- I can't function on Xanax. Like, I'm a complete fucking wreck. Like, I mean, it's not even possible for me to do this type of show and output on Xanax. Like, that's just not something. That's Bro, not I'm so- dying here. Ralph's floating like a cartoon in the direction of Cuban sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. But <laughs> Miami was one of those where I was, like, fucked up. Uh, but I don't remember if I had the Xanax at that point if I was just drunk. Uh, but, yeah, I was indulging a little too much uh, during the Miami trip. We had all these big ideas, but... Uh, Who suggested kinda... Miami? Because you guys originally like had money LA. for only a, a, a LA that was well. LA no, was, was well. First, it was DC, um, and then yeah. I think I don't know. It might have been me that expanded to Miami, but like the original idea was doing something with Dick Masterson, uh, and for mm-hmm. some reason mm-hmm. I forget why that didn't happen. Uh, and then me and Andy was like, well, you know, we'd had some success in in Knoxville, just, you know, doing some streams around that and people enjoying it. So it's like, all right, well, we'll do our own thing. Um, but like there just wasn't, I don't know. I should have just took more hold of the planning instead of just thinking it was going to happen. I was kind of just like partying too much too. Um, like, I should have went there with my own set goals. Uh, now, we had AG Luck and SoCal Chris running the uh, logistics on that, but they, you know, yeah, sure. they weren't that good. Well, but also, be, like, we to weren't. Be fair, yeah, I was. AG just, had his, has it, had his uh, hands tied because yeah. nobody really listened to him. You weren't right. listening to him. That's what I'm saying. He, he wasn't. Yeah, yeah I can't fully <laughs> blame I don't like those guys. Uh, but yeah. I'll say this, I can't fully blame them for, like, Miami not working because, like, that was just kind of dumb. No, dumb. no, no, it's definitely not either fucking SoCal or, or AD's fault. Nah, definitely. nah. <laughs> nah, but, they, but it, still, that was Andy's idea to bring them aboard. Honestly, they, mm-hmm. I mean, it should have been a tighter thing, really, in the first place. Because uh, he brought them aboard and told them he was going to pay them all this money. Right? They were on Andy's dime. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, okay, yeah. if that's what you want to do. But, like, um, he, he promised them, like, there was a certain, like, money. I think they were getting paid, like, a fee or something. But the rest, he was, like, promising them money and promising them stuff. Uh, and, he, of course, mm-hmm. he didn't ever pay them. Uh, but I paid well, for that. Well, Taylor convinced Andy to pay SoCal. Um, oh, did he? Uh, okay, he did pay so he But yeah. see, he refunded all the money for the project, which, I mean, honestly, that's kind of fine. But, like, I still paid. That was, like, $2,000 for that hotel room. Hmm. I had to pay, and he tried to say he paid for that. He didn't. He didn't pay anything on that. Uh, yeah, Billy and I have been talking and kind of working back through that because uh, apparently Andy had been stealing money from both of us and playing yeah. us against Right, that's what I'm saying. He's... Like, Part of the reason he said we didn't have money was because 
and we thought it was legit because his dad kept calling, insisting Andy pay him back, and that it was like you know 10k or something like he owed him. And so he had told us the whole Indiegogo was taken out a loan from his dad. So we thought most of our profits were going to paying his dad back, I guess, you know, back to zero before we started our business. And then finding out from you that most of that money didn't come from him at all. Well, yeah, that's yeah. what I, well, that's what I'm saying. Like when I said earlier, like he was charging money with a lot of people and spending a lot of people's money, uh, while he was in the U S that was kind of his thing and saying that he was getting money for this and never did, or somebody else owed him for that. You know what I mean? Like playing those type of shell yeah. games. Um, but yeah, that was definitely like, he didn't pay shit. Now I guess he did pay for a little bit of the food. Here and there in Miami. So I will say, like, there was a couple of the food things I think he paid for. But other than that, like, I mean, that doesn't make up for the two grand that I fucking paid for in the room. Like, I don't know. It's just it's disaster. Uh, the, the, the night that Alex was released from jail, we were supposed to, well, we're not supposed, we did have a stream to, you know, kind of have, uh, you know, like, all right, let's see if we can bail get money. some money money together for the fucking bail money. That way we can instantly pay his mom because his mom's the one who put it on her credit card. Because, like I said, we and were that's to bail broke. Alex out from the aim aim stuff. And yeah. we did a yeah. show back. I mean, on. I, I yeah. had money. I had money for it. Not money I wanted to spend on bail, but like they sure. won't let you pay with your own card. Someone else has to pay it. Yeah. No, they won't. So, so uh, uh, we did that stream, and at one point in the stream, I look at Alex because we're right next to each other and I show him the phone. I'm like, dude, look, we're, we're already over a thousand dollars. Don't worry. Your mom's going to get paid, bro. Like, and like, yeah, we had like, like every quick stream minimum. Yeah. Because like, like alone, one guy gave us me and Andy a hundred dollars to spoon faggot. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> F slur. <laughs> no, uh, and, and, and then, like, fast forward to when when uh, we did the stream with Dick Masterson after, uh, you know, Alex went on Dick Masterson, kind of threw <laughs> threw me under the bus <laughs> and, and Andy, so, or at least that's so you know, we perceived it. And then we did the fuck Alex stream. Uh, during that, like, I was like, yeah, like, what is he saying that I didn't pay his mother back? Like, we the stream and made uh, well over fucking. Uh, a thousand something dollars and he goes to me which it like, no dude we barely made like a hundred dollars i'm like what the f- what the hell are you talking about we made a hundred dollars alone on that guy fucking giving us money on uh to spoon <laughs> like uh, also you're not taking into account the money that you made on the fucking aim 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 stream so where's all the money andy <laughs> yeah and he uh he would always control that um, I don't know. I think I'm still thinking him and uh, and uh, the fat dyke from up north are gonna have some kind of falling out uh, over money. Oh, no, he, of course. He claims he's given oh. half his check from this fight uh, to him for for his support or something. I don't know. That seems um, that's hard for me to believe. I mean, it's hard for me to believe. Yeah, Andy but would do. he all Ashton already admitted, like he spent thousands, like he was already splitting their show fifty fifty with Andy, and then apparently he was paying thousands for Andy to train. Which, from what we saw, we know Andy didn't train. <laughs> so I mean, even if he split this ten k with him, he's not getting too much money from this compared to what he spent out. And you know that was just embezzled money, and he didn't do any training. Yeah, I don't know. I just it doesn't seem like a it doesn't seem so like that's a good simmer. Uh what would you guys say to Worski? Uh, what what is your prediction for him first off, Alex, and what would you say to him uh if, if you could uh send him a message right now? Prediction with what? I don't know, just where he heads up, where he goes from here. I mean he can always go lower. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, no one uh, gives him another reach out and elevates him again like you did. Well, hopefully, uh, he does. Out this time. Yeah, I could agree I have, with that. I have something for him. Uh, stop trying to be an internet tough guy. <laughs> He's um, going like, I'm fucking fuck you up. I'll kick your ass. Like, no, you, you, I mean, I, I guess I could just encourage him to, uh, you know, finally come out and not worry about his parents uh, disavowing him. <laughs> uh, that would be good. 
Uh, I think he should kill himself. That's what I think. Uh, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I'm glad yeah. both of you gentlemen. I don't think you get, you should, though. I appreciate you calling in failure. I mean, we'll, we'll just say you can go play in traffic. And taking this trip down memory lane. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I saw some people. I saw some people. We might have somebody. Uh, hold on. Oh, wait. I, I saw the geek join Telegram. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know if uh, you brought it up yet, but if they had actually gotten into a fight and there were any decent punches thrown, uh, Philly, did you ever bring up what happened to Annie when you saw blood? Oh, no, I haven't brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, we all got back from getting uh, from the piercing shop, and I had gotten my uh, punch outs redone because uh, they had sealed out up when I was in jail. And uh, it started bleeding, just like, pouring and uh Phil was trying to help me with it and then Andy walks out of the room sees blood coming out of my ear and just falls like a log to the floor oh, apparently shit. anytime you see blood from a human just passes out cold yeah. unconscious yeah so he's lucky one good hit landed he'd been fucked he'd been knocked out without He's lucky that Saul probably didn't cut him open. By the way, uh, Geek wants to join. Uh, I have to warn you, Geek might have some bad words to you, Ralph. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you're a big boy, not thin skin like this uh, isn't like Andy, who's always in a fucking. By the way, how are, how are you going to be in a world where you're fucking talking shit about people, but you're like the Kumite? Oh, the doors are closed. You won't let anybody on to actually fucking talk. <laughs> well, plus it's oh, not I mean, even just, just the the letting on. It's the um, they were fucking with me for like months and months and months, and then we started sniping them. And then he's like, "Oh, why do they keep? Why does he keep sniping me? Why does he keep fucking with me?" He's like, "What are you talking about? Like, why would I?" Like, that's insane. Why wouldn't I be? You know what I mean? Like, obviously. Well, it's because you started fucking with me. Like, that's that's why. Um, anyway, yeah, tell him to call in if he's going to call in, though, because it's like 324. Yeah. I'd like him to call in. Uh, but uh, well, I'm trying so, to explain to him. We're all boomers here. We've been gone for too long. Just go on Telegram. <laughs> yeah, it's up, pretty uh, easy. Ralph or Tor- here, I'll link it in the uh, cozy chat uh, as well, the Telegram link. Uh, again, uh, let's see, where is it? There it is. Yeah, there it is. Oh, mm-hmm. There you go. Uh, and then, yeah, you can just search the Ralph Retort on Telegram as well, yeah. Uh, and you should be able to find it that way, too. Um, oh, there he is. Geek listening. You have to, you have to raise is... your hand, geek. Yeah. Raise oh, your hand. Is that him right there? Yeah, the bottom. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's uh, okay. Geek, is that you? Oh, the button. Hey, oh, you have to unmute yourself again. Uh, I was saying, Geek's yeah, yeah. probably the one you want to ask about uh, Luna because tell your uh, Geek introduced me to her in the first place. Yeah, what's up? Can you hear me? Is that Geek? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> what is up? What an eventful fucking day. It has <laughs> been. It has been very eventful, yeah. I want to raise the volume up a little bit. Get yeah, you, you are a little. Me, me and Geek were literally just screaming top of our lungs when it happened. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. Well, my mom was uh, on air, so you could see that. Yeah, I yelled and just completely lost my mind because um, it well, was a dis- well, disaster. While, while Geek's uh, trying to figure out his boomer technology, I, I haven't, you know, <laughs> looked at a Tonk at all. I think he's kind of walked away from the internet. Uh, I have looked at Vamp. Vamp took her advice finally and became a Twitch fucking thought. <laughs> really? But, uh, oh boy, uh, I don't know if I could point. Am I able to post a link in? Uh, yeah. Uh, you look, at the uh, chat. Look, look at the chat and look at that picture. <laughs> see what she's <laughs> looking like these days. Let's see. Maybe, Where is that? Maybe uh, it's in the chat. Um. Oh, in the, oh, in the, oh, I the see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I see it. Let's see. She got her teeth fixed, I think, didn't she? Mm, well, zoom in well, and you'll see tooth. the... Uh, uh, you'll, it's you'll, tooth and then... She's got some rotten roots going on. Oh, no uh, wait a minute. Five dollars so. no, everyone showing up to kiss the ring. Now wait Love a minute. To see now it. wait a minute. Her, uh, her. Oh, I thought she got them fixed, but <laughs> eh, it's not great. Uh, 
They still didn't. She get them. I think she got them fixed and then like smoked so many cigarettes that they discolored again. I don't know. Nice pearly gray. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, she she had the poop tooth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The, that it was so named, and uh, yeah, she went and got that fix. She raised a bunch of money, yeah, for some sick cat. Remember, yeah, uh, well, no, to get her cat's teeth fixed is yeah. what it was, right. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, suddenly the poop tooth vanishes, and now she's got a nice new little really? white eye tooth, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I forgot, but you know what? I didn't put that together that that was that she absconded with the cat's money to fix her poop tooth. But yeah, that yeah. actually makes all the yeah. sense. Yeah, uh, I hadn't seen her in a while. I actually reached out uh, back in January or something. I forget what Worski had done. Um, it was like at the start of all this with uh, Kino Casino, and I messaged her and I was like, "Look, you know, who cares about all that old shit? Like, whatever." Let's just get Tonka on the show. That'd be hilarious. Like, let's get him on the show and dunk on Worski. Well, he, he can't even really talk shit. I mean, he looks well, yeah, like more but of a pussy. He yeah, looks I mean, more like a pussy. I mean, this dude walks out, gets knocked out in 17 seconds, and you couldn't even show. I don't know. He's not not as much of a pussy. It's as true. Tonka, I, mean. I mean, yeah, it's true, but it's like it would have just been funny to have Tonka show up and like one of the, you know what I mean? Like, like some people in the chat are like, "Wow, these guys from blast from the past." Like, it's just cool to have people show up from back in the day. And if Tonka would have came on here and just like shit all over Worski in the in an even halfway entertaining way, like it's like okay, we could play that up <laughs> as like a big you know moment or whatever. But uh, instead. They went out and put out my DMs on whatever Tonka radio or whatever the fuck his Dude, show that's is. What they, that's what they do, man. That's what they Well, it wasn't do. even that, a got that, you that moment. Is, like, I didn't say anything. She's got, like, an FBI file on every motherfucker that she ever Dude, it was with. ridiculous, <laughs> though, because it wasn't, like, it wasn't even a got you. I mean, what do you got? It was just me saying, hey, let's do a show. Like, I don't know. Was it really that big hey, of a got here, you? Here's uh, another picture of her just, you know, <laughs> oh. highlighting like, I don't know. But, yeah, they've been doing that shit. Actually, they were one of the psh, originators. Like, oh, my God. I could talk about that forever. Yeah, they're gay ops. Uh, oh, yeah. my God. No, no. Everybody's old one, right? Everybody's old one. That's, that's <laughs> right. One gay op. What in the world? Yeah, I had no. Like I said, that was my last dealing with her. Um, and then... They leaked those DMs like it was some big deal, and then I said, well, Tonka's a faggot, whatever, uh, and moved on. But I guess he still streams. I don't really know. I, 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 I think he does video game streams now. Like He'll, he'll uh, like occasionally like pull up a, a fucking game that he bought on Steam, and then he just, just low energy talks about the game is like literally it's, it's, i'd rather watch dsp or wings it, you get sure. entertainment from those guys <laughs> well yeah i would rather watch them over tonka's on the games yeah i mean fuck it like i mean i probably wouldn't watch any of them but i would <laughs> i would definitely watch <laughs> those guys over tonka's like i said i didn't know at the time he was still doing the radio stuff but i think he stopped that since then because i hadn't heard anything about him and I hear him mentioned every once in a while, of course, you know, around these occasions. But like, well, he he quit because he's only like streaming to like thirty fucking well, uh, yeah, on the dole simpletons, you know. Like, that's <laughs> well, yeah, and again, it's it takes you know, it takes it's a grind out here daily. Now, what about earlier when uh, failure brought this up? And I know this was uh, part of your advice too, to Worski to do games. Uh, and uh, don't get involved with the kill stream, me specifically, but just this area of the Internet, maybe try to oh. clean up your image a little bit, uh, which I actually said to failure earlier, I don't think that was bad advice uh, it, it, well, in reality. Yeah, like my, my, my whole thing with that, like, for can, Andy, can I say the N-word? Can I, I would. I'd rather you not. But I mean, it's been said. Oh. It's been said on the show. I want to kill us, but yeah. Well, well, Andy and just say and slur. Well, I was and... just gonna say. Okay, we'll we'll use the code word Chuck E. Cheese. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So the yeah. Chuck E. Cheese video that you see like going around and yeah. like calling a little black kid and the Chuck E. Cheese a N word. We did play that um, a couple it, times the last month. So, or so, yeah. so it's like we've already got an uphill road. Like if we're going to try to do some normie stuff with the subculture shit that he stole from me, which hilarious that all of that work is deleted. I wish I could have got into that account and did it myself. <laughs> Kudos to whoever did that. <laughs> I, I, I would love to tell me who you are. I will send you a hundred dollars. <laughs> Thank you. That is great. But yeah, so I was like that, that video is already going to be an uphill climb when we try to do, yeah, to do like normie content. So I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, hanging out with AP publicly or Ralph publicly, not a good idea. Right. If we're going to try to do this, because like the whole idea with subculture was to roll this over into some sort of production type thing where we could do some stuff sort of like Red Letter Media, um, that fun house before uh, what's his name decided to molest people in his office. Oh, uh, wait a uh, second. Three dollars low. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Sorry. I was just uh, TGS there. Thank you. Yeah. Comment. So, so I was just like, you know, like publicly don't like really associate, like don't go on the shows, don't like participate in that stuff. But like, if you want to chill with them behind the scenes sure. and talk to people, like whatever, you know, but just don't like try to get brought into drama. Don't try to, you know, go on these shows that have some racially charged conversations, right? Like if we're going to try to do the normie thing. You know, we're already going to have to deal with the Chuck E. Cheese shit, the shit that we've done on the war path, because we, we've we dropped many an N-bomb, you know, on that show. Maybe with the soft A, not the hard R, but I, I broke that rule with the hard R, but a lot. <laughs> but, you know, it was just like, we just got to be careful. And I was just like, so maybe don't don't associate publicly with people like that, you know? And, and that was really it. Now and he was just like, Geek was trying to tell me yeah. that I can't hang out with Ralph. And I was just like, no, dude, that's not what I was saying at all. <laughs> yeah, but what's funny sure, is he took what know. Geek said. He took what Geek said and went to me and said, me, me and Geek are going to be doing this normie stuff. And if you keep hanging out with AP, I can't really associate with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what about well, just like, – oh, go ahead. Finish your thought. I don't want to start. Oh, no. Uh, well, I was just going to say just, like, I, you know, me and failure are always, like, kind of behind the scenes, like, trying to, like, you know, give them some good advice. It's like we'll just say, like, hey, man, um, you know, don't blow this up. And he's like, okay, no problem. And then he'll immediately Cut go through. Three dollars love you, chat. Thank you, Cutman. Go ahead. And, 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 like, don't blow this up. Don't, don't do this. Don't do that. And then he'll be like, "Yeah, it's doing no problem, guys." And then the next thing we know, it's just like, "Hey, everybody, look at me with my stick of dynamite." <laughs> you know? Okay. And it's just like oh, Zoomer wow, Brain didn't win. Zoomer Brain has something for you, geek. Remember when Andy did OnlyFans reviews on Subculture? Take it away. Who, who was responsible for that? I'm that was a you, great but... gimmick, by the way. <laughs> that was know. money in the bank. No, like when I heard that idea, and I almost stole it because I was like, "This is like money in the bank." It's still there to me. I don't even know. Does somebody else do it? Because it just seems like a money idea. Like when no. I first heard that, I was like, "That's a money idea." But it well, wasn't Andy. Well, of course. It, it, well, that's what I want to hear, but I didn't know that until now. But, yeah, that makes sense. But when I first heard that, so his, his gimmick, Worski's gimmick was, at the time for a minute, was OnlyFans reviews. And so when I heard that, I was like, well, fuck, you could build a whole huge channel off that and probably get monetized and probably, uh, you know, get a lot of support. Now, at the time, I didn't give a fuck. Like, I was like, hmm, that sounds like... Maybe not a bad idea. Now nah, I wouldn't do that. But um, at the time, I was like, well, that's not a horrible idea. Holy shit. But he dropped it. Like, he didn't have the wherewithal to continue with it. Um, but what, what was It wasn't the, going well. Well, well, well it, it, what, it wasn't on Subcultured. It was on his main channel, the Andy Morsky channel. It wasn't yeah. on Subcultured. Because, uh, and also, that really, that wasn't my idea. That was, that, that was legitimately his idea. Because really? at that time... At that time, 
Uh, Why would he YouTube? drop that idea? Like, I don't understand. Like, especially from uh, being because, because worse... Ralph, it costs money to wow. sign up the OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, but if you played it right, money. you could get these ho uh, you could get these hosts to let you see their OnlyFans for free. I get, I mean, like, I don't, I, I, I don't. Well, yeah, for exposure. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, like, he could, like he did. It, like, what, what he had? What did he have? Like, we could have, have them come on the kill that stream that and show yeah, their yeah, OnlyFans. Yeah, yeah. I guarantee you, I could set up a rotating segment on the kill stream with OnlyFans. Hose, come on here and show me their show me their nude pictures, and we review them live I, I, on the show. Oh, watch out! I disagree. Farms. When it comes back up, we'll, we'll lose their mind over there. <laughs> it's cheating on me. Yeah. <laughs> only support love, big dog. Well, she's gonna be one of the judges. Uh, we'll have her sitting over here at the <laughs> at the second mic. Um, I don't know. It's not the worst. It's <laughs> just it don't. Some people said do it. Ah, uh, it's too much work. I don't want to. I got. I'm trying to start a wrestling promotion. I probably should stick to that rather than Dude, organizing like, some the, whole the thing pageantry. about the OnlyFans thing. The yeah. only thing that's going to make that interesting is if you bring the chicks on to talk to them. But it's going to yeah. be the same. Vapid we'll do the stern talk. thing. Yeah, it's just going to be like, well, like I like totally just like don't want to work. And I'm sort of like a five in real life, but I'm like a seven or an eight on the internet. So I put on a lot of makeup, wigs, like spooky weep thought with my big fat oh. saggy tits. <laughs> <laughs> what is that on her eyebrow, by the way? Do we have, uh, we can't pull up Kiwi Farm, so I don't have it at uh, the ready, which I'm well, not. Well, yeah. Yeah, Josh is declaring war on all internet trannies. Oh, yeah. Uh, he pissed moment. off the wrong tranny. Yeah. Uh, but she has some type of growth on her eye. She looks like one of the crones from yeah, Witcher 3. She's like a wart. Gross looking. Yeah, yeah it's like a yeah, wart. She's, she's, she's one of the three fates from Witcher yeah, War. Yeah, she she's is. A crone. It looks like she's like about to stir up a cauldron or something. Like She literally looks like she's working on Witch's Brew. Uh, or something <laughs> like vamp candy is probably like I would put vamp candy above. Wow, uh, I give her a good. I give her a good hate fuck. Yeah, yeah I would like, fuck vamp before I would before. fuck spooky weave trash for sure. All right, I, I gotta ask you something, uh, Ralph. What did you think of like when Andy freaked out about like Kirsten? Because, in my opinion, when she was still in some fucking shape where she was losing weight. I would have fucked her if Andy's dick yeah. was nowhere near her. I would have fucked her. <laughs> now he, you know, he told her a bunch of shit though. Like he told her that she, that she was he was gonna move her to Canada and like he was talking to her like they were gonna be together and stuff. Like no, I didn't remember the pine cone girl story. It, it, it's it's not a lie. No, it's not. Okay, so let me let me break this down because I don't think anybody's heard this one before. Um. So, well, number one, Kirsten said that you like offered her money for sex to me. So that's what she me? told me. So, like, <laughs> yeah, she tried to like, turn that around. No. Like, well, well, like, like I, I probably would have let her suck like, my she, dick, she, though. She yeah, for she, sure. But I didn't offer her money. Nah. Yeah, she went to. She claims that she went to the, went to your hotel room, and I don't think Andy was there yet. And then you like uh, uh, apparently like sat down on the bed next to her, and you went, "Well, you want to fuck." <laughs> no. and, and then offered her money. I would have definitely let her suck no. my dick, but nah, I didn't do that. I actually <laughs> picked her up, so I picked her up from the airport. And since she's a hoe, uh, she's broke basically. Uh, so, and then we stopped at Taco Bell. I was taking her to her hotel. We stopped at Taco Classy. Bell. I, I know, yeah, exactly. Uh, and I bought her two tacos. And I think I had a couple tacos. I don't remember. And then I dropped her off at her hotel. Uh, but no, I did not offer you sure her. You, didn't, money. you sure you didn't say? Well, since I bought you a taco, why not? Get I mean, taco? she is on that level that definitely she is like a taco dick sucking <laughs> hoe. I she, so when she was asleep the next day, like we woke up and her stank ass was like laying sprawled out. I mean, I don't know how stank, whatever. Uh, lay it all sprawled out in the in the fucking living room when we got up, and me and Dick Masterson and Coach Gator was there. We all left, and we're walking across town. I told him to, I was like, "Get the chick out of there!" Like she's just all. I was like, "Give her the." That was that was like the funniest thing I think Worski's ever said to me or on air. When I was like, "Yeah, give her that cold quarter pounder. Throw her the fuck out of the 
Like Dick had bought like forty quarter pounders the night before, uh, and then Worsey's like, "Fuck that! I'm eating that cold quarter pounder." And that's legitimately the funniest thing he ever said to me. Now I was pretty drunk, and it was already like, it was only eleven a.m. I was already drunk, but still, that was pretty good. What? I don't understand why he was so embarrassed. <laughs> like, well, that was another so thing. Yeah, She's a hoe. Like, so what? That. If she would have sucked my dick, it would have been no problem. I mean, who cares? She is on the level of somebody you'd offer money to to have suck your well, dick. Like, she's a slut. Like, who gives a fuck? Like, I mean, I didn't do that, but if I did, who gives a fuck? You know what I mean? Like, who I mean, would care? She's a whore. Like, I mean, who gives a fuck? If you look at her and and look at Sinead, I like Sinead. Sinead's a, a pretty decent person. She, you know, she, she's always been really nice. To yeah, me. actually, I always got along got with her, paid. too. She's yeah. the reason why I got paid for Mandy, because she was like, what, you're not paying... You're not paying geek? What what the fuck's wrong with you? You know, and like started fucking giving him shit and then he guilt paid me, which later he tried to threaten me to charge me back when I wouldn't talk to him or something. It was fucking oh, so boy. Dumb. <laughs> but but like oh, wait, you look at her, Sinead, there's not there's not a big on the scale of one to ten, there's not a big difference between the two of them. So it's just like you're okay with everybody knowing you fuck Sinead, but you're not okay. Okay with right. everybody knowing that you, that's you true. Kirsten, but the reason why he was uh, so worried about everybody knowing he fucked Kirsten was because he was still in a relationship yes. with Sinead. That's he was right. telling everybody he was broken up with her, but he was not. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was I'm talking to her in no Icon story part of mine too. Well, he was talking to her in Knoxville and like. You know, covering up for the fact that he had just got his dick sucked by this bitch the night before. And, of course, she told everybody. Even my ex-wife heard about it before we even got... We were still in Knoxville, and she heard about it. And it was before the fight, I think, even, that she had heard about like, Well, there was yeah, no fight, well, of course, but... The you know, moment. The, the like, event. while the cum was drying in her vagina, oh, dude. she literally went and told this... Uh, the, the uh, guy who played the, did the fake failure, uh, failure, that yeah. guy. She went and told that guy, and I was I was part of uh, a server, um, a friend of mine, uh, and I was just I just popped in. And I was like, hey, what's up, everybody? And he's relaying the story, and I'm like, what? So I reached <laughs> out to Kirsten, so we can dovetail right back into what I was saying. Uh, so Kirsten had told him, and he just started telling everybody, right? So I contact Kirsten. I'm like, uh, so what's this story about you fucked Andy? Like, what, what the fuck is this? Because, like, this guy is telling, telling the story to everybody. And so I start talking to her, and then Andy starts to trash her, right? And so she's in there in my Discord in a private in a private call with me and a few other people and she's showing us fucking dms of how he's just like oh yeah i love i love you we i want to move you <laughs> up here i want to live with you oh, you're perfect <laughs> all this shit leading up to to knockville right and so she's thinking like oh i'm meeting andy we're gonna be in love we're gonna be a couple and meanwhile andy's just like i just want to come in your hole you know that's his mentality right like but she doesn't know that and fucking, well he could have yeah. done that anyway that like i didn't realize what he had been telling her till later but like he could have just fucked her like that anyway like he was selling her yeah, yeah. like a, a bill of goods that didn't even need to be sold because she was down to fuck regardless right like you didn't have have to tell her you were gonna move her to fucking saskatchewan or where the fuck you live right like you know what i mean like she would have just fucked you because you were andy worski in town for this fucking gay ass fight that wasn't even happening like it was just a fucking stunt anyway because Tonka yeah. didn't show up so it's like yeah she would have fucked you anyway you didn't have to tell her all that shit now at the time i kind of thought she was being like, oh, she knew what it was, and, you know, you're being a little clingy here. Like, what the fuck? Obviously, this is just some kind of fling. But I didn't realize he had been saying what he had been saying, right? Like, um, you know. Oh, yeah, he was spinning, spinning her a yarn of a yeah. happily ever after. Right. Man. And, like, <laughs> and this girl was just like, oh, this is perfect. Because, like, I, I was still kind of talking to her in, in, in shit while they were talking. Um, and like, yeah, yeah. Like I could totally tell, like she was just enamored with Andy. And we do that with every girl uh, we talk to online. 
And oh, then yeah. when it came time to actually meet them in person, he'd like just find a way to bail or make it not happen. So does anybody know that story of like him like recently going down to meet some chick and she wouldn't even kiss him? And, I don't know the whole details. I heard that, but I don't know where it came from. Yeah, so Gomeson put a little bit of it out there, but I don't know the, all the details. He's claimed he was going to Portugal during that weekend or trip or whatever. Well, yeah, no, we know he normally didn't. has like once a year him and his family go over to Portugal. He didn't go though. He would have taken a sister. picture. He would have taken a picture, geek. There's no way. Like Oh, well, oh yeah, yeah. After I just yeah. went, well, they would have he wouldn't have been able to doesn't like him staying there. Say what? <laughs> uh, like back when I knew him, it got to the point where his sister's husband didn't like him staying. Oh, yeah, that might be. Like, yeah. But like he would have taken oh, a picture cuz Mel I just Melanie hates him. Melanie hates him. She can't stand him. <laughs> Would you fuck Melanie? I asked this earlier. Oh, oh, I th oh no, I fuck Melanie. Oh no, funny story. I actually I made a joke. I was like, "Hey Andy, what if I came up to Mississauga to fucking meet you? And me and Melanie hit it off. I could wow. be your brother-in-law." <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, man! She could really get back at Andy, couldn't she? Man, that would really, <laughs> that would really take the yeah, cake. Yeah, Melanie, uh, my phone number is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Good old Mel. All right, what were you about to say? Oh, no, I was just being. Oh, I thought you were going to say something uh, before that. I forgot. I just cut somebody off. Uh, some, Nothing profound, just being a pervert. No. <laughs> somebody said a Borsky is going to see you when he hears this. Oh, failure. Do you remember um, how much he uh, scrolled TikTok, uh, not TikTok, uh, Tinder when he was here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember <laughs> that particular profile that we caught him, like, writing paragraph after paragraph to? Was this a tranny? What? Yeah. Was it a tranny? Uh, yeah. Oh, well, he has a story. He has a story about a website. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So I know of a, of a, of a uh, tranny website that I had never known existed before knowing Andy. Uh, one day he was, like, just typing in his fucking... Uh, address bar and it like the autofill was like showing because he was sharing his screen and there's this uh, site called she Mail gods so out of curiosity i go and i look and i go oh it's just a fucking tranny porn site okay <laughs> <laughs> now what about the we talked about this with failure a little bit earlier what about the abortion oh the oh yeah well well, me and Failure didn't know that we, each other knew it, right? <laughs> so, you know, uh, after Andy and I split, like, how long ago has this been? It's been a while. Uh, 2020? Like, like, early 2020? 2020? Yeah, early 2020, like January, have I think I it got, was. Have I been gone like a year and a half or a year? Yeah, like, yeah dude, this, this feels shit. weird. This, like, yeah. me, and, me and Geek have just been doing shows for each other. We'll, we'll fucking chit chat and just fucking, we can, like, goof off about other shit and then, like, tune in and look at Ralph's Twitter and look at, ah, fucking look at what, what Ralph is talking about. <laughs> 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 Yeah, big, yeah, big yeah. fans, also big critics. Well, we'll criticize you on some, <laughs> on some shit like your man purses. Yeah, yeah. You're an absolute well, fucking mess, Ralph. Like you, yeah. you, you gotta get. <laughs> right. I, I challenge, I challenge you to a rematch for the fucking race that we had. Uh, I we smoked you, win. dude. Like it wasn't yeah, even but, close. Uh, I want to, I want to, I want to win the second time, but I demand that a purse be on the line. The purse will be on the line. On the I have a replacement yeah, right. purse now, so it's not as expensive. <laughs> It was the last one, just in case I get robbed again. I had to downgrade, you know, so uh, I had to take precautions. I can't carry a gun because I'm a felon, so I just had to, uh, you know, downgrade the the purse, uh, the purse, <laughs> purse class. Yeah, I, I, I just get a backpack, Ralph. Yeah, it's fair. Uh, that's abortion. That's we're we're sidetracking. No, man, they're handy. You know where I got it? It's from being in the backpacks. It's from being in the casino. Little, like waist hooks. Yeah, but it's from being in the casino, like and walking around having your phones in there and you can put your wallet and it's just and chips or whatever you win too, right? Wear, like, it's wear just, like a baby Bjorn. Wear it yeah, the you're right. You know what? The people have backpacks on and shit in there too. Uh, so I could easily have a backpack. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I, I have got a very stylish leather, like sort of Indiana Jones yeah. kind of bag, but yeah. like, 
I don't know, man. That that bag, it, it was a little funny. <laughs> well, it was overpriced, too, honestly, because, like, I mean, I won't go over how much it cost, but way too much. Well, stop the... being end rich with your money. Yeah, that was that was, uh, <laughs> that was an expenditure I didn't have to make. So the bag I have now is, like, $150. That's not that bad. But uh, that one was, like, too much. Uh, now, what about – how did this get onto my bag from oh, no, Andy no, Killing Babies? Uh, abortion. We need yeah, to how did we get from abortion. Andy Killing Babies to my bag? But now, what, yeah. what was that going to be? You were talking about how long it was since well, you guys – After you're done killing the baby, you need somewhere to put it. Well, that's man, true. Man, <laughs> <laughs> no failure. They, nope. just, they just stuck it into a tube and shoot it into a, 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 a container and then just throw Dude, it. Dude, he literally went into it. the description of, like, what they do to aborted babies. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. It seemed yeah, like he'd actually – that, that's fucking disgusting. Oh, like, 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 yeah, I, I was trying to explain this earlier. Me and Geek do a terrible Andy that nobody gets, but it's just the energy that we feel. Did, 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 did it, Ralph? Like, no, I get it. Probably, like, it's like oh, it's like, it. A, it's like a brain, even, yeah. like a brain damage sliced alone or something like <laughs> like like completely brain. You know what I mean? Like, we're just, like, uh, uh, here, here's like an example that uh, like me and Geek never talked about before. He's oh, crazy. Up he's crazy. He's oh, crazy. Yeah. He's crazy. He's crazy. <laughs> King, she need to be up. She's crazy. She's <laughs> uh, uh, Now, yeah. killing. Abortion. Yes. He yes. called you. He, uh, well, he the reason I'm having him talk about it is, be, is because, like, I've not. Uh, some people might not have heard. Like, these are primary source. Uh, people, you and him, uh, failure and geek, uh, on the abortion knowledge and just what he did during that time. And I kind of want it on the record, like, uh, from you guys. So that's why I was, I already talked to failure about it, but so that's why I was giving you a chance. Like just what is the, you know, the details that we have is that, uh, he basically, um, you know, orchestrated her, her killing their child and then was also pissed because she was interrupted his his playthrough of Grand Theft Auto. Oh well, yeah. So so yeah, she got pregnant and and fucking told Andy. Andy fucking freaked out. He's like, "Gig, I can't be a dad. I don't want. I don't want to, I don't want to be a dad. I'm, it's terrible. The fuck, man. I can't. You have and kids, don't you? Like, you have kids, don't you? Yeah, I got I got a regret. Yeah. Um. What. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's not the only one who said that, but what? What? It's pretty selfish, isn't it? Like, like what the fuck? Like, what? You can't? Is it just like so beyond your ability? Like, I don't think that that's the case. Like, a lot of people have kids. Like, oh yeah, dude. dude I was thirty-one when I'm forty-four for now, and <laughs> um, I was thirty-one, and, and I, I don't think at any point in time. When you have, when you hear "I'm pregnant," that you're like, "Yay!" as a guy, like you're never like, "Yay!" unless you're like some weird mind, mind wash fucking Christian guy that's got like this idea of a perfect family in his head, right? Most men are just kind of like fear, panic, you know, just like, "Oh my God, my life is completely changed as I know it," right? But. Like, yeah, like, but, but you nut up, right? You just, you, you nut up because you nutted in, you know? So it's just like, you, know, you got to take care of it. And, 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 and surprisingly, I mean, you can get away with not making a whole lot of money, right? And raise a kid. You know, I was well, living right. in Jersey, fucking paying an insane amount of rent and taxes on everything. And like, I managed to, to, do an all right job. I, I don't know. Maybe he might kill somebody in four or five years. I don't know. But, you know, hey. Right. And I see some people in the chat. Yeah, it's not bad. I see some people, uh, some uh, <laughs> Christians in the chat. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, Geek, uh, I don't know if he's atheist. Somebody said atheist cringe. I don't know if Geek's atheist. Oh, I'm an atheist. Oh, yeah. I'm I an mean, all right, he is. Okay. okay. I kind of I, I, I don't but, give a shit. I, I, I don't but, give a shit. But, I mean, what he's saying is, I mean, you know, that is kind of true, though. Like, you know, a lot of guys think, like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Or, ah, this might be tough or, 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 or what have you. Like, some thoughts like that. But I never, 
I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just different mentality, but I, I never would think like my first thought would be abortion or any type of encouragement of it or like even that oh, being yeah, a real yeah. option. Like, um, I don't know. I always wanted to have kids too. So, I mean, I guess it's a different uh, mentality. Yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to have a kid too, but yeah, but when you hear it, like you, you still like, I, I, I like, I love kids, man. I like, I gotta be careful going around places because sometimes I'll smile and like kind of talk to kids and you can't really do that today because then they start thinking you're a pedo and you're like, yeah, don't do so that. I gotta, I gotta not, I gotta not be friendly to little kids, you know? Yeah. So, but so yeah, especially like when you're in a van trying to lure them from the playground. <laughs> never talk. Never talk. I never talk to children. I, I, I think cream, come here, kiddos. They might hit me up for money or something, or try to sell me something. I don't know. I, I just don't talk to kids. No, um, but fuck, I forgot. What the fuck were we trying to talk? Uh, the abortion. No, talking about abortion. Yeah, yeah, the abortion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. So yeah, he he, he said he, she's pregnant. And he's like, oh, I'm not ready for a kid. I can't have a kid. Blah 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 blah. blah. So, um, it, and he basically tells her. He basically is just like, we gotta go rid of it. And he kind of talks. <laughs> and he, and so that's how he talks. So, we gotta get rid of it. So, <sighs> so when he says, so when he says that she did it without his knowledge or consent, he's a fucking liar because he drove her down there, and he was sitting there on his fucking Nintendo Switch while she's in the fucking while she's in there getting their fucking baby uh. fucking vacuumed out of her. You know, oh, and, and then, and then, like, it, I guess it's like a day after. She's just, you know, or it might even be like the night of the day. The, it, it might be that night. He was talking to me on Discord, and he's like playing a game, and he's like, "Guys, in there, fucking crying and won't leave me alone." And, and, and it's like all I want to do is play a video game and edit videos. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I'm like, Andy, maybe you should like, you know, log off of here and maybe like go in there and comfort her. You know, it's yeah. a pretty fucking traumatic thing, man. <laughs> like, maybe you should be a human being. Go put an arm go around her or something. Like, unique. yeah, like what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Did you Reno? He was. Can you share a story I really enjoy? So the time, and the uh, the, uh, the time where his mom got home, opened the fridge. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, where he ate, ate the family's dinner for lunch. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> yeah he, he he was he, um. I'm I'm sitting there talking to him on Discord, and I'm hearing him. <laughs> He's like, like a slob, like by the way. Drink. Oh yeah, and. and and then, uh, and then I hear Andy's mom in the background, and she speaks very broken English a lot. Yeah, gets home from scrubbing toilets all day, just yeah, wants to... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and she and she's like, "Did you eat all the food? Did you eat all the food?" And he's like, "Yeah, I was hungry. I ate all the food. <laughs> that was for dinner and our lunch tomorrow." <laughs> yeah, not only their dinner, but their fucking leftovers ah! for for yeah. when they go to work. <laughs> Now, what is it his mom does? Well, Scrubs she, toilets. She, well, she does two wow. things. The, uh, well, her her dad, her her or hit her dad. Uh, he, he's such a bitch. I call him a her. Um, um, but, uh, her. <laughs> fucking his dad and mom. They yeah. they both work in the same furniture store, which he claims his dad owns, but they don't own because I like kind of trace back to see there's like a furniture company oh, and wow. then it has like an umbrella company over it that's a really? furniture company. You should just yeah, say those. So I mean, it's public information. It's not against the rules to say uh, if you want. I mean, well, I don't care. I don't. I, I don't remember the name of the oh, places. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I'd have to look at it again to 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 look it up. But they both work there. Is like. I think salespeople, I think. And then, uh, cause I, like, I don't see him as a manager there. I looked through like their little, their little uh, about us type page. So I don't see him as a manager. So he's probably just some fucking part-time sales associate. Um, yeah, it can't be much because Andy said their goal was to save up 45000 in savings so they could move to Portugal. So if it was taking that many years to save up that, he's definitely not high up there. Uh, yeah, why well, didn't he move to... Oh, and they ahead. also clean. 
They also do janitorial work in, wow. in like office buildings downtown. Ooh, Toronto. I wonder if that's where he got his job from. Well, yeah, he he basically what he, he would never do is he would go the maid. All right, one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Go ahead, Geek, go ahead. He, he would go into, like, I guess his mom and dad got him a job working with him, but all he would do is go in there with his Nintendo Switch, sit around while his mom did all the work, <laughs> and he was, like, telling me, he was telling me this funny story, like, yeah, I went and fought it in my mom's face while she was working. <sighs> I'm like, you're a douche. What the fuck? <laughs> like, you, your mom, your mom's in here fucking cleaning out trash cans and turlets, and you're just going, oh, look, mommy, I fought it in your face. I'm gonna go play Bing Bing Wahoo now, okay? Bye bye. It's like, what the fuck? I'd be it's enraged, crazy. dude. He complained so much about that job. He said he worked his ass off, and he was so embarrassed about having to be a maid, and it was so much work, and he was tired every day. That's oh. crazy. So Worski was a janitor. And he didn't he even said do he was his... a maid, in his words, wow. when he talked to me. Maid. <laughs> well, he also claimed he was a butcher, but he... Yeah. No, he worked at Deli Counter. <laughs> at, at, uh, what was... It? What's the grocery store? Uh, Whole Foods. He Whole was, Foods. like, a sandwich maker, I think. Wasn't See, like, that makes yeah. more sense, because... Billy and I couldn't figure out, like, how are you fainting with blood, but you're not going to faint with animal blood, is what he was claiming. He's like, my brain is different. I'm like... Okay. He used to tell me about this retarded guy who worked with Tim, and like, it's strangely enough, a lot of the things that Tim would do seem very Andy-like, and I feel like he's just sort of relaying a story that someone would tell about him, about a retarded guy hitting on girls and, and just being absolutely clueless. I think I think that's probably what it what it is. <laughs> what was your well, first thought? <laughs> Oh, go ahead. Finish your thought, failure. Oh, uh, uh, Alex, are you still here? Yeah, he's here. Yeah, I'm still here. Do you remember when he failure? Oh, so <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I haven't him? heard it. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I don't remember. This is like a faint memory. So, oh, uh, aim, aim, aim was such such a long time. All right, get on with your fucking <laughs> question, faggot. Let's go. All right, remember when? Remember when he hit on that seventeen-year-old and was like. Yeah, well, this is a <laughs> yeah, at the sushi shop in Tarvin Springs. He was hiding behind a bush to try and get a kiss from her. And then it was like the store owner was trying to run him off. But it was that with her dad. It's on stream. I mean, it's gone now. But uh, unless failure, if you said, kept the copy. No, but, uh, he, what to the he, he got her number to get a kiss. Like, what is yeah, it? Yeah, so, 12? Felt like it. Uh, the, basically, the dad kept running him out of the shop. So he was like, I'm going to wait till he's gone. So he was hiding behind a bush to make sure the dad had left the shop to go get her number and a, a kiss he wanted. And then he finds out she's 17 and still gets her number. And then Shelly and I are like, dude, you got to delete that. No. Uh, and he's like, well, I'm just going to stay in touch with her and uh, we'll bring her on when she's 18. It's like, no. one, gross. Two, uh, you realize <laughs> people are going to do the math and figure out when you met her, right? Also, what about the Snapchat? There's a couple of the like the Snapchat thing. Uh, I don't know what. Oh he t- yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. That was that was a fucking. Well, well, it's kind of like like I was telling Ralph earlier like, about. Hmm? Go ahead, go ahead, geek. And and then all. Oh, I know. I, I well, I, I figure talking? like failure is actually probably going to get on what I was going to say. Okay, sure. Go well, ahead, then, was- failure. I was telling Ralph earlier about how, like, you know, I was asking, like, for evidence, evidence with the Mafra chick, like, oh, show me the DM where you sent that picture to yourself, and he got so mad. Yeah. But, like, yeah. the same thing where, like, you know, with those Snapchat things. Now, by the way, for people know, who don't know, to... hold on, I just want to say this. For people who don't know, he was accused of texting this high schooler. She was, like, 17 or something, and he said he was going to go pick her up at high school and some other stuff on there or whatever, and they were talking sexually, oh. and he tried to say that wasn't real. I thought it was 14. But it gets worse. Oh, 14, yeah, I don't but know. No, they it were gets teenagers. worse. Yeah. No, 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 no. Hold on. You guys are fucking up the story. Yeah. Right. I don't know. She claimed she was 17. Yeah. Okay. But in truth, she was 14. Wow. So I didn't know that. She 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 did lie to him about her age. And and uh, that, that's why, like, in my defense of, like, defending him publicly, I was like, it seems like a setup because it's like, you know, and then it's like conveniently the right people just got it like right away. And it was just like, and then it came from anal vape, which 
Yeah, you know, he was mad because, like, back during the Purple Dragon, he was like, yeah, I'm Andy Worski's co-host. And Andy's like, no, yeah. you're not. <laughs> and, and he got re- really upset, and he vowed he revenge. He was some like psycho disco villain. faggot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you, that's a deep cut of the lore. Yeah, and so then he, like, vowed revenge against Andy. And they came to me with this, and we, like, put it on air, and I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm not sure. And then it ended up Andy and some other people kind of, like, threw enough shade on it to where he kind of got a, you know, basically it just, I don't say went away, yeah. but, like, he got. But, like, failure passed. said, anytime you asked him for evidence, like, during that time, I was like, hey, you know, like, show me, like, the, when you try to log in, like, show me this or that, like, show me the email. And he would just be, what, you don't believe me? Well, you're not my friend, geek? You don't have my back? And I'm just like, no, man. I just, you know, because I know people are going to ask me about it. And well, if yeah, you I'd rather help have you it. Out, yeah, I, I kind of need to know what's going on. Well, it's like, well, yeah. yeah if you have the goods, I don't know if I got into it. Yeah, go ahead. Say what? Um, I don't know if we got into it last time we did a stream, but like, I knew for a fact he was not hacked then because he called me up trying to give me the whole "I'm hack story with the old uh, butterfly tattoo girl thing. And um, he's like, I don't know how to get it back. You got to help me. What am I going to do? So. I mean, he's useless with that stuff. So I just took it upon myself to uh, file the uh, basically hacked account report uh, with Twitter and all that so that they would lock his account down and then verify his identity, get everything back to him. And that is on a timer. That takes like a good 24 hours before they lock it. And then you have to do your identity and stuff. And I'll keep in track of that for him. And all of a sudden he's like, thanks, man. They fixed my account. I'm in. I logged in. Everything's good. And, like, I think a half an hour after that, I finally got the confirmation that Twitter locked his account to verify his identity. Mm-hmm. And then he had to verify it and get back in again. But it's like, so he already had the login. Twitter hadn't done anything to get it back to him. He never lost the login to his account, was never hacked. Yeah, and this shit and today is some other fake hack shit. Like, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I don't know oh, if that saw- I got blamed for. Yeah, oh, well, oh, yeah, no. but, so now they blame it's Bibble, true. actually. Uh, but I think you were another yeah, candidate. Was, yeah. What? yeah. Oh, oh, I wish I had hacked it, dude. That would have, dude. I would have, I would have just put my icon or like my little like avatar over everything. Just. <laughs> like, oh well, yeah. I mean, who guy. cares? Like, that's what I mess. I know Bibble didn't, obviously, but I messaged him earlier. And I was like, "Yeah, they're saying you did that," and I was like, "I hope you did." <laughs> I was like, "That'd be hilarious." Uh, fuck that guy. Um, but. Yeah, that's not what happened. No, I, I think they staged this. Zoomer, Zoomer saying it's either Kyler or no one else. I'm, I'm not even saying Kyler. I think it's just an inside uh, job. Inside <laughs> job. Yeah, Kyler, 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 has been. Kyler got yeah. put on the pay and no mind list, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he, he found him a new money maker. And he's like, sorry, we're not friends no more. Bye bye. Bye. Just like Kyler. Kyler. <laughs> Kyler, if you're listening, come on, TNG. Let's go fucking have a watch party. By the way, Adolf said he's. He saw we, he got manipulated. I told him, like, uh, <laughs> you, you're not that fond of him because you, you, you got yeah. his fucking Discord fucking needed to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then they tried to deny it, and then later Andy admitted to it. Like, yeah, we got Discord. That, like, that, that sounds was the like why I came game. out against him. Worski's such wasn't a, a faggot, though. Wait, now was... think about what a faggot thing that is. So Worski... Like, if that happened, by the way, I like Adolf, and he's cool with me. Like, I've always been cool with him. But, uh, like, say that's yeah, what happened, that right? Guy, like, dude. I don't know what. Watch that guy. Well, I don't know either way. Like, whatever. I don't care. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Ladies, that's not my... watch yourself. Protect yourself at all times. <laughs> that's not my. That's, that's not... all I'm going to say. That's not my yeah. beef. Like, whatever y'all got going on. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is, that's something Worski would do, though. Like, get you to get somebody to go in with him on something and, like, oh, let's get these guys kicked off. Well, let's do that. And then to curry do... favor with those same guys later on on he would like admit like oh yeah you know we did do that to like sell somebody else out though like you know what i mean like that's a fucking double dealing type move though like even what you're describing there is warski like going in with a compatriot quote unquote and then channel got like fucked and he was blaming you for it yeah which is not true you did that really yeah and and he was like i'm gonna let ralph take the blame for it Wow, yeah, I did do that. You, when you were, like, bringing him on, and after we, like, split, I was like, Ralph, he's a snake, dude. He's, he's going to snake on you, bro. Like, I was just like, he hates you. He fucking hates you. 
If Adol's still around, I have a question for him. Uh, but real quick, uh, fucking scattered all around. Uh, I, I actually want to bring up the strip club since uh, Alex is here. <laughs> Because yeah. you you've had your prostitute fucking thing, Ralph. Eh, fucking pass everybody. Eh, fucking, what happens? Hundred dollars. Kiss me too. Yeah, what happens in Miami? Fucking stays with herpes, whatever. Uh, but so Andy. It, yeah, well, there's really a lot of fake like news about a lot time. of different a lot about a lot of different yeah. things actually. Yeah. So. And like, so where was it that we were at, uh, Alex? I forget what city, um, but it was like a dry city. Yeah, someone, well, someone could probably Google it, because it was like, uh, I guess whatever city we're in has the law where if it is full nude, uh, it has to be a dry strip club. Yeah. Uh, I think it was Tampa. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It was it was a shit place. That's, um, that's so, most of fucking Florida, though. Yeah, yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's that way up here. So, but well, there aren't so, many full nude places. I think there's only one in that city where we were, so. Andy says that, that we were put... We were pussies, not wanting to talk to any females in the club while we were sipping on our beers, which is bullshit because okay, they were high and low, were... and it was very depressing, and there was no yeah, alcohol. We had energy <laughs> drinks. Yeah, we What's had. What like happened you had go to a day, when you go to a strip club in the daytime, man? It's not no, it was nighttime. No, that it was, was nighttime. nighttime. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, it was like nighttime. Yeah, like there was a couple of Latinas that were like Miami fives, but to Andy there were tens. The one I was interested in, I think both me and Alex were interested, was a little blondie, no. but she was taken up by like this old guy. Remember the blonde, the blonde one? No, I wasn't looking at anyone. Uh, well, I was, I was looking at the blondie uh, across the room, but she was taken up by old guy, and the rest of them I had fucking no interest in. But Andy, like the first one that comes up to him, uh, dance, you want to dance? The yeah. <laughs> so he he goes and fucking pays for his his dance. And like three minutes later, he comes running to me like, Felia, please give me give me monies. Uh, I need I need. Uh, Wait, he tried to get a loan at the strip club. Damn. No, that's yeah, not good. Cool. Beg and beg, like tell him to no, no and he's like, no. He's, he's got like, bitches now, nah, dude. Get on the floor, and beg him. That should have been but a big you know, sign right know. there. Yeah, that's a bad sign. Let me just say this publicly. Yeah, if somebody's asking for loans to the strip club, they got bitches like in their <laughs> ear, and they're trying to get money yeah. off you on behalf of some bitch at a strip club, and it's not like to pay their rent or to eat that month, you know, that would maybe be an exception. Uh, even then, it better be dire. Like, what the fuck? Um, but, yeah, that's a bad, that's a bad sign. That's a, that's a mentally weak, mentally weak. But he's claiming he had $500 in his fucking wallet, and he just needed a, uh, $200 more, which is outrageous. $700 for fucking three minutes of sex, Ralph. Yeah, go to, go to a fucking Asian massage parlor, man. Like, yeah. oh, shit, I didn't know he had that much. Like, he he had said, uh, he didn't. No, he told me he didn't have any money, and he was trying to get. No, no, money. no, no, no. This is what he said on stream. He had no money in his wallet. Oh, world. yeah. I was like, I was going to say, we know he didn't. It didn't cost that much that no, night. No, no. This is him well, trying to flex in front of PPP. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at, at the time, at the time, like, when you guys are down there, like, that motherfucker was, like, trying to, like, hint at me to, like, fucking give him money. And yeah, I yeah. Like, nah, yeah, man, I don't... you still owe me money. <laughs> yeah, that's. He, he had enough money for the lap dance, and then he was fucking empty. <laughs> he came to me, and, like, saying, like, please, I'll pay Paul you the money. Holy uh, shit. Go to the AK and give me $150 yeah, and pay you back. Full Coomer? Like, yeah, he was like, do it, through, do it through PayPal. A failure, Holy surely. shit. It won't fucking blow back It's like, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's got you on PayPal, <laughs> yeah. It's like, holy yeah. fuck. Dude, he's trying to take out loans at the strip club. He's that Coomered out? Like, I don't know. Yeah. That's pretty fucking... That's pretty yeah. bad. Like, if, if you don't oh, have the money, and when, you, and when you said earlier, uh, like right when I like tuned in, I, I just woke up and I was like, "What the fuck is failure still doing up?" I, I woke up because I had to pee and I'm old. But uh, so I, I you was said that, like, that, <laughs> that um, fucking uh, uh, failure got SoCal paid. No, I got SoCal paid. I was trying to get AG paid too, but. Then, you, then those two started like going around shit talking. I'm like, I mean, it's hard to. Convince. They're faggots, like, dude. Like, day, so who knows? But like, family and I talked with him, and finally he agreed and went and paid him. But 
Yeah, they don't deserve to get paid. They're faggots. Like, I, I don't think right. so. But I will we'll say see, that um, they couldn't have really say that. Like, I can't blame them for Miami still, though. But well, no, both, both of you were a fucking mess. Yeah, you like, I wish I, time, yeah, I could, well, wish I could blame everybody. them. I, I wish like I could blame them. Lunatic. But, yeah, okay. But, but, but thank you for that moment where Andy, Andy was screaming while on the phone with this bitch. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, dumb. I still didn't do oh, anything. No, that was hilarious. Like, I literally was just trying to have a conversation with him. Now, I mean, it, I was kind of upset but i wasn't trying to fight like i didn't like break anything or anything i just shut the door and i did like turn you know turn the turn the fucking lock or whatever but i was like all right let's have a oh, let's no. have a creep but i guess he I had some like when we were outside of the building oh we yeah well that's on tape building. by the way we listened to that when alex was on here last time and um it has a call where he's like calling into dispatch and he's literally freaking yeah, out dumb, and like dispatch is literally oh, fucking <laughs> just fucking making fun well, of you. Yeah, he's trolling him the whole time. Just... But he literally has like a panic attack and he's like, oh, 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 Ralph, no, tell him not to come. Tell him not to walk up here. Oh my God. Tell him not to walk. And it's like, dude, I wasn't even trying to fight this guy this whole time, by the way. Uh, but he was losing his mind. I don't know. He was afraid I was going to attack him. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It was just really, it was just really weird. I guess. Man, a lot of people, I, even I didn't think he would get destroyed like this today, though. Like, I just can't. I don't know. This is just incredible. Oh, by the way, hey, hey, Beardson, you're after my time, I think. But uh, I've seen fucking their interactions with Andy. <laughs> the, the fact that Andy tries to dunk on Beardson, shut up. Uh, man. But uh, one, one little tidbit about that fucking moment when we were outside the building. At one point when, when, I, when, when me and AG had him sat down, and trying to calm him down he goes like dude i'm gonna go i'm gonna go get a drink and i'm like no no you're not bro like, <laughs> the, the last thing you, you, you're you're telling ralph that his problem is drinking you're also drunk the last thing sure. you know, and he starts freaking out i mean like and, and i yell at him like dude Fucking shut the fuck up. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> like, you just see him, like, shrink. <laughs> I wish AG... Well, AG, AG is back on the fucking Andy bandwagon. It's amazing. What? Many wait, 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 whoa. <laughs> well, so, wait. So, 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 yeah, SoCal, SoCal is too. SoCal. Even after... What? I don't know if you remember, but Andy was forcing SoCal to give him his meds while we were in Miami. I know! Oh, yeah, yeah. And not paying him. It's like, that, Andy abused the fuck out of you. It wasn't even to pay you, and now you're like... SoCal, you, so you, you weren't you got it paying... Wrong. You got it, you got it wrong. He wasn't SoCal wasn't giving him his meds. He was giving him his daughter's meds. No. What a piece of shit, right? Oh, yeah, both. <laughs> it was both his meds and the dog. Well, SoCal, SoCal, now look, on the, on the, people yeah. don't understand. SoCal was like 800 pounds in Miami. Like, this guy could not walk okay. hardly. Like, and he, and he I was, honestly think it's the uh, testosterone hormone. So, somebody said he lost crazy. Somebody said he lost a bunch of weight. Is that true? Yeah, he's fit. Yeah, yeah he's, what? he's lost a uh, I thought he was gonna die. Like this motherfucker was like PVP and beyond. Like I don't know. Like he couldn't hardly walk around. Uh, like this guy was in bad shape. I can't believe he lost all that weight. Oh yeah, it's on his uh, Twitter. He actually. Uh, I don't care. Weight. Fuck that. I don't. I got him blocked. Yeah. He's a faggot. Like I haven't seen yeah. it. Hey, yeah, he went. He went nuts. I even helped him out. Wow. Big fat people like that losing losing weight can be very deceptive because they usually lose it in their face, face and their neck first. Yeah. So you never know. That motherfucker might yeah, he's a like piece a of shit. sorry piece. Yeah, he's probably juicing. Well, he's juicing because, the girls. Uh, like, I kept in touch with SoCal after I left Miami. He seemed like a nice dude. But uh, I can help him out. He begged me for money like every week to help him out. And I you know, sent him some money and he'd pay me back. But he did it like three weeks in a row. Con I was like, okay, huh. but uh, then uh, he loses weight, gets on testosterone, and he starts doing these psychotic rants online and acting weird. And then, like, the as soon as uh, Cog went nuts, he jumps on Cog's dick and starts trashing me. He's like, I, I, I've been good to you for years, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, that dude hated me out of fucking nowhere. I was like, he, he, like one. I remember, like, uh, out of nowhere, like I was on a stream, and he and he like popped up, and he just started, you know, you're a fucking piece of shit. I fucked you up. I'm like. Who are you? Like, huh. and then he just started scratching me out. So I'm like, who is this guy? 
the, yeah, just, just me, just me saying, like, dude, what are you doing talking to like Andy again after he's done all this shit? That'll probably cause him to spaz out and be like, fucking talking shit about me. Like, no, dude, I'm just saying, fucking <laughs> realize what the fucking like Andy's never gonna fucking change. Like, nope. not. Yeah, yeah, he will. What are you talking about? He'll find a new personality, like Mike from Red Bar, and he'll, oh, he'll, he'll change. He'll be that person next. Oh, that that red bar appearance! <laughs> did you watch that red bar appearance? Oh yeah, yeah, I did actually. Yeah, <laughs> we you, were, you, you were friends with Andy at that time. Did you kind of like cringing or like, oh, bro, that wasn't a good yeah, appearance? <laughs> yeah, but and I did see it, and he was like really stoked about it. And then like at first, and then you watch it, like I don't know if it was like his second thought about it or what. And then he just mm-hmm. like tried to memory hole it. Um, after, but at first, oh, wait. Anonymous sent three dollars. Geeks thoughts on me, Tucker. On what? I thought it was a medicare. Oh. oh, like that, that dude. All right, if you're a fucking creator, and I, I wore Tucker of this way back in the day, I warned Andy. I was like, I know, I know a medicare before I ever even heard of the anti SJW. And I was like, this is a guy that will get into your community. He'll pump your shit up. It'll be great for you for a bit. But then he'll get bored. He's internet entropy. Like, the guy will get bored. Uh, maybe you do something that people laugh at or, or people find cringy or, or don't agree with uh, in general. And he will descend upon you like a swarm of locusts to Egypt and destroy all of your grain and try to leave you a wrecked husk and everybody will meme on you about the stupid shit that people make up about you and that's that's going to be your history you know it's like the best idea is to enjoy like it's like the zoo you enjoy the lion from afar you don't jump into the cage with the lion and try to pet it, it, it that, that's the way it is, because he, he can be entertaining um, sometimes. Uh, lately, there's been a lot of cracks that have been showing where it's like, oh, this dude's scared of being docs, man. Like, how, how scared is he of fucking anybody figuring out who the fuck he is? Like, I, I imagine he's just this middle-aged, pudgy, yeah. balding guy. He really doesn't want to be seen. Scared. Yeah, it's just like, he, he really does not like the idea of being doxxed. I, I mean, rightfully so. Nobody sure. wants to be doxxed. It fucking sucks, you know? But, like, Someone it's like you, you, you sling so much shit at everybody throughout your fucking uh, career on, on the Internet. Eventually, you're going to get got. Nobody is undefeated. You know, nobody, everybody gets but, beat. And, and it's just, yeah. But yeah, I, don't I, trust I, I, Like, that's the best thing you could ever do. Don't think he's your friend. Don't ever trust him. Everybody will have their gun revealed. Eventually, you have to accept it. You might not want to. <laughs> just revealed this recently. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, I actually remember you saying that a long time ago on some stream. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, I didn't really realize how true it was back in the day. Um, but I was trying to tell you in Miami, I was trying to tell you like, bro, just take off your shirt. Like it's people are already talking about it. Just fucking like own it. Like, and just go like, yeah, there it is. Yeah. But also it's like, people are trying to make you do that too. And it's like, I mean, yeah, you should, I probably should have just done that. But also, yeah, yeah that, that's funny. Well, that it's me and like white Andy, shirt. Andy thinks that, like, you know, I, well, I finally owned the a name thing. Yeah, fucking, what, a year later? No, you, you still yeah. fucking bothered by it. <laughs> yeah. He was so bothered. I don't see that motherfucker with a knife, uh, Alex. That's just made yeah, up. Yeah, because Amy's great. No, it's not. Uh, that's really going there. Made up. That is, yeah, no, it's I'm, not. I'm, I'm, you can even watch the it. There is nobody can, behind failure. Get you can even here. see them at the end of the video, idiot. No, uh, I didn't see the guy, man. Like, we watched the video. They walked by, went unhandcuffed. 
Uh, uh, if Ralph wants, wait, why am I bringing us back here? I thought we were leaving. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm about to. We might time. have to do a part two. I don't know. Maybe if Worski does another fight, maybe we'll have to just get the whole panel back for for a post discussion. No, like, that's just like right, right, right. I did in the video. You can see them walk. I can't I mean, believe, I'm honestly. For the assault, bro. Still, this is so perfect. What today is perfect? Like I don't know. It's just been great. Like the way he just got yeah, demolished. Yeah. He earned every bit of this. I I genuinely think he, he's a snake. Like I don't he's know. He's not getting resigned. No, hell no. They're not gonna fight him again. Like I don't think so. Oh, they'll never use him again. Yeah, I would like, be. If he, he would have maybe made his second round, got knocked out, they might, they might like you know oh. throw him in another another fight. But that dude, he threw two punches. Neither yeah. connected. Salt Poppy hit him with two punches and knocked him the fuck out. Well, a- Andy said he's going to just use boxing for exercise, but not for training because yeah. it takes up now, too he's much. He's a fan of speed running, so he speed ran his fucking boxing career. It's sad when your boxing career can fit in a fucking gif. Jesus oh, that was Christ. Christ. It's perfect, yeah. yeah. It was like a nine-second fight, 29 seconds from start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> It was perfect. But, yeah, I appreciate everybody stopping by. It was good to take a Oh, a real quick, Ralph. Moment. Sure. Um, well, you got uh, Geek and Failure here. Do the other two people can confirm this. Uh, VHS Archives, Luna Blur. Remember the Pablo account? You guys introduced me to her yeah, in the first yeah, one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the bro, person you weren't sure about the connection. About this shit, bro. You also lied about me in this shit, saying I was trying lied to about dox what? Kong. Oh. You tried to say I was trying to dox Kong, motherfucker. You liar. Dude, no, you and Andy asked for the doc multiple I times. I wanted to see the information that she had is what I fucking That's all I said is you guys asked for no, it multiple you times. you said we tried to get you me for it. the docs. Shut up. Yeah, because I had it. Liar. You kept asking me for it over and over again. Yeah, we were like, I don't give a fuck what you say, dude. You write all the time. You're the motherfucker that actually came to us saying, hey, I got a person that can get Cog's docs. Do you guys want it? What? I said I was getting it. And I did get it. Yeah. And I didn't use it. How'd I get it? I didn't get it. I didn't say you got it. Are you deaf, fucker? No, you just got a shitty connection. All right, so move on. Let's go with your family. Your personal problem. <laughs> I'm loving this. So. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not going to stop. Just, I mean, I'm you. just... Uh... But, so anyway, what I was saying is you guys can confirm... You introduced me to her. It was Pablo, that old Twitter account, who was also Luna Blur from VHS Archives. Because Bates wouldn't believe that that was the person. He was convinced you were someone else and all that. I didn't introduce you to, to that person. I mean, I think it's the you person that, that, that claimed to know that person's docs, but I didn't introduce you to that person. Um, I, never, I, never around, so. VHS, I never talked to VHS Archives. Taylor gave it directly to me. Okay, well, don't say me. And act like I can confirm it. I don't... Okay, keep spazzing out. Let's tell you talk then. All right. Well, what, what did I give you? I, I know I know that person was around talking to us. What about her? Or it... Yeah, Luda. They, no, they, that's who it is. VHS Archives. Pablo account, uh, remember? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Uh, you really got to kill the mood, Geek. No, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know. Dead air. <laughs> Everything's cool. So keep, I don't know. How, how, how did I kill the mood? Failure says, yeah, that person hung around. Like, yeah. But how yeah. were you talking about until you spazzed out? I have. Yeah, because no. you're a liar. I don't like liars. Wow. Uh, okay. No projection much. <laughs> I thought you guys liked each other. I didn't know there was any beef there. No, 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 no. Oh, we can I have never uh, had, had, a, docks the had a very uh, heated pass. Yeah. Just because uh, the, the enemy of my enemy doesn't mean friends. It just means we both hate the same people, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> well, it's mean, probably mostly on Andy's part, painting Geek yeah. the way he painted them, playing everyone against each other, but... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it, I, I think one one bad thing about like uh, Andy having Geek as a co-host is a, a lot of the blame for Andy's stupid things always got shifted All to went on the Geek. geek. Yeah. Also, me, yeah, I got blamed for a lot of stuff like today. I was getting fired. I never suggested outside of yeah, a I joke. Was there in the outside, call. 
outside of like joke, like I, I would joke super chat fire JF by your failure. Now yeah, that's yeah, ridiculous. Why? Oh, why failure, is it ridiculous? Was in that call, when that was being yeah. discussed, failure was only in that call for like fifteen minutes before he's like, oh, "I gotta go take a dive and sleep," you know, and just fuck <laughs> off somewhere, you know. Like I was like, in the call know? when he said he was gonna do it, like after the Kumite or whatever that day. Um, yeah. I, so I knew he was going to do it, but like, that was like really a Worski kind of thing, like coming from him. Like, yeah, uh, I, I never wanted yeah, to was, fucking it, replace it me, JF. It was me and Tonka in there talking. Yeah. Andy. yeah. I'm sitting there telling Andy, why don't you just talk to him in private? Cause you're making good money. And then, and, and Tonka's like, ah, you, you should do it publicly because he, 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 he disrespected you publicly. And I was like, well, I mean, if you're going to do it, yeah, make it funny. I guess, you yeah. know, like, but then he just went on too long, and JF, even the potato fucker that he is, the retard he is, uh, huh. figured out, like, oh, I think Andy is going to fire me. I tweet. <laughs> and took all the wind out of his sails. We should get JF on. I'll see. That'd be funny <laughs> to have him on. Uh, oh, well, he starts a grudge with me. He still thinks that I tried to get him fired just because I made a fucking joke. Well, he's got a fire, Jeff, higher failure. And he's got a ridiculous because, hey, How many times did you try to get me to have a show with Andy? Yeah, you, your fucking stupid ass is the reason why I had to do a show with him because you wouldn't fucking do the show. And, and like, and he was like, I need a partner. I need somebody to help me do a show because I'm fucking retarded. And like, yeah, fuck. Thanks, family, yeah, by the way. I, I, I didn't mind yeah, doing... Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't mind doing this. And he was like, uh, oh, shit. They just like me talking. It's, it's Whoever was on the thing, at the time it was Geeks, but he was like, hey, Geeks, Geeks ruining my channel. Geeks ruining my show. If it was just me talking, everyone would love me. Of course, he was in his manic upswing then, thinking it was a good thing to ban everybody. That was just a mess. Oh, yeah. The council thing. That was a, yeah, Do you remember that? A good idea, bud. Probably not a good idea. And then, then he, blamed, again, I, he blamed me and you for making up that strategy when we both told him it was bad. By the way, yeah, people don't know. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. People don't know what that is. Idea. Hold on. People don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, I do, but it's very deep. Oh, the, yeah. It was, I would, so I would fuck Mama Death retarded, but she's already kind of retarded. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but like so the whole council thing was Andy was really upset when anybody comes into the chat and says retarded phoenix uh fucking whatever anything uh, uh tributes for Mel right and he gets really upset and he just starts banning people I was a good boy in the show where I would be like after every show, because I'd watch people that got banned. I'd be like, ah, that person didn't really say anything. I literally, my boomer ass had a notepad and wrote down that person's name because then, then after the show, I would go in, I would find them, and I would unban them. Yeah, I did do that for Purple of, Dragon. Yeah, I, I eventually got tired of doing that shit. I just mass unbanned everybody. And he fucking had a conniption fit about it. And so he was like, we need to ban people. And I reached the point that everybody's shitting on me in the chat, right? Saying, oh, bad guy geek, bad guy geek. And I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of fucking unbanning you motherfuckers. Let him ban you. And I was like, go ahead, Andy. If you want to ban people that, that, that are fucking with you or whatever, go ahead and ban it. But then he like was like, look at everybody that said anything. And I was like, ah, that's not a good idea. And then he, and, and, uh, and then, and then this whole, I think he was, he was hanging out at Discord and somebody like started talking about like this council type thing where it was like a, a bit of a cult and then he just kind of took it. And then uh, I was like, well, if you're going to do it, I, I did my normal stance where I normally do. If you're going to do it, make it funny. Otherwise it's going to fucking drop like a rock. And it, like it, it, it's not going to work. And, and then the moment, uh, what was it? Memeology? Yeah. Or Dame Peso. No, it's Dame Peso. Dame Dame Peso. Uh, yeah, Dame Pesos got banned, and he fucking said something on Twitter, and, and he's like, oh, no, oh, no, Dame Pesos is mad. Oh, everyone's gonna hate me. Oh, man, everybody. All Geek's fault. All Geek's fault, not mine. Yeah, he likes to have the <laughs> fall, guys. 
Um, all right, I got to log off because I'm getting really tired. But, yeah, go ahead. Final right, talk there. Wait, I, I got one one last thing. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Alex, do you mind me asking a question about your lady and you? I don't know if it's uh, uh, off topic you know, or off. There's it, nothing, you know, too personal. I guess. All right. Uh, so your lady was uh, once upon a time talking to Andy before she was talking to you, you know, an interest. Uh, and she kind of uh, was again a little bit too clingy to Andy. That's how he was painting her anyway. And That's so like, we hey, told her, like, yeah. Well, we we told her like, all right, you did fucking get away from the stalker. If she's being a stalker, get away from her. And like, like me and you both told her, told him like, dude, distance yourself. Now, uh, later on, no, you no, no, no. end up hooking up with her. <laughs> oh, <Uh-oh. laughs> you want to do the camera on real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Hey. Giving her my mic. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Can you all hear me? Uh, yeah, but not oh. that great. Let's talk a little bit louder. Like, get a little closer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Now we can hear. You. Yeah. Okay, so I knew Andy for maybe about a week, a year before I even met Alex, mm-hmm. and there was no obsessive bullshit. I. Basically, I tried to stop talking to him on three separate occasions, and he literally threatened to kill himself multiple times. It was traumatic for me because it's like I've never Why dealt with someone. Him, God damn it! Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah, God damn it. No way. Con- contrary to what people believe, I'm actually really nice. Um, but it's like uh, I just I wasn't. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> um. I wasn't used to that. And then when I was finally like, okay, yeah, I'll keep talking to this dude. Then out of nowhere, he just starts ghosting me out of nowhere. And it's like, all, and I was like, okay, you just threatened to kill yourself a couple days ago. And then now suddenly you're just not talking to me. And it's like, it's like, I didn't understand. And I was literally just trying to get a fucking apology. And he literally says this about every fucking girl that he meets online. He says that they're crazy. Now were you with now wait 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 were you with him at all because he says that y'all were together and that you got with Alex because of that like and all this like he had all this whole like crazy backstory. Well, you, you were saying that she got with Alex to get closer to him. Is yeah, what, you, what he's telling me. Yeah, yeah, he told me that too. Um, yeah, he told me that. No, 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 no. no, no, no I no, got. No. With- no, because, like, I will, li- like, this dude has been fucking running his mouth and lying about me for years, and yeah. personally, I would knock his ass out faster than fucking Salt Poppy did. I'm just saying. No, um, uh, I got with Alex. Work. <laughs> <laughs> I got with Alex because I saw him on the Medicare stream, and that's how I got in because I never watched any of y'all's, like, Purple Dragon things or whatever. I only watched... The one that Medicare did on y'all. That is the only stream I ever watched. And I hit him up on Twitter. And, yeah, and, like, the the whole extent of what I, how I knew Andy. And, like I said, Alex wasn't in the picture for any of this. And we literally just, you know. Now, wait, wait. That's how you met, Al- wait, wait. That's how you met Andy from the Medicare stream? No, no. That's how I met Alex. Now, you knew before Andy before. Like, yeah, okay. Now, wait. You knew Andy before that, though. Now, how did you know him? Yes. Uh, we literally just met randomly on Twitter because I found out who he was. Because well, we were doing the apartment hug. thing around that time, like, because I, I, because I, I know that it was around that time, like, so I, I, and then he's like, "This chick stalking me" or whatever, and then I was like, "Okay, well, I didn't care anyway." So I was like, "Whatever." I don't care. Yeah, uh, no, he's not even worth the effort to fucking do any of that shit with. Like, I'm just saying, I. I barely even fucking knew him. All the shit he says about me, he's literally just fabricated in his own mind, or he takes, like, little tiny snippets of one thing, and he'll make it something worse. All y'all have experienced this. He is a habitual fucking liar. 
Worski's no. a liar. Yeah, I mean, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. Yeah. I but. this woman is obviously fabricating. Jeez, I know. I am it is a, a bastion of truth. I mean, this woman she <laughs> lied to me about going and getting mental help when I helped set it up through the Canadian government in a foreign fucking country, yeah. only to find out through his father that he never saw that person. Yeah. Chad does yeah, not believe women. Chad refuses to believe women, regardless. Yeah. Uh, I will say in her def- <laughs> in her defense, uh, which Chad does, it doesn't matter. Chad's anti woman doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, but this woman needs to be slapped like it's the right. I mean, I know. I mean, honestly, I respect that for sure. Uh, but I will say, Worski is like an all time all timer when it comes to lies. Um, so yeah, I don't know for sure. Uh, you know what I mean? Like Worski would be the type of guy um, to just completely fabricate some shit like this. Uh, I just remember he was talking to you around that time, uh, and then he's like, "Oh," and he was like, he liked you, and was saying good he things. He also liked Houston, though. Right? Exactly. Yeah, it was like that. It was like the chick he. Um, had leaked the the nudes of on the Twitter. The monster chick. Yeah, yeah, and ex- yeah. Stop saying it's the butterfly people. Yeah, it's and he's mo- like, "Oh, this monster. is this cool chick I'm talking to. Oh, check her out." I was like, "Oh yeah, was, was cool." Dude, yeah. He yeah. was talking to her for like a week, and he was telling me, "Gee, yeah. I fucking love her." Yeah, she he would do Mario. that. He did that all she the time, like- though. Yeah, and I was like, "Okay, oh. yeah." Dude, my my favorite uh, uh, e-girlfriend was the Chick-fil-A employee, the one that worked for Chick-fil-A for six uh, years. <laughs> the one with the big old dead caterpillars for eyebrows? Yeah, what was her name? God damn, well, I'll have to find you a picture. God damn it, don't drag me back here, Ralph. What, what I don't know, I gotta go, I gotta go. Time. Y'all, we but, somehow got uh, even deeper into right. shit. Like, uh, like, how the uh, fuck, I like, I was that. trying to sign so, off, uh, and... Now we got well, let me, females. Let me finish. Let right. me finish with this girl. So my Thank you for coming on. What by happened way. with? Uh, what happened with? Uh, uh, so Alex and myself tell Andy stay away from her. Uh, did you just fall in love with Alex's eyes as he stared into the camera and Andy <laughs> looked away when he was getting arrested? What, what was? How did the two of you end up? Hooking up this guy makes sound decisions. I want to. I want to be. I want to marry this guy. Yeah, this triple. I want to be on tops. Um, honestly, it was very unexpected how fast we got married. I don't regret it even in the slightest. But it's like mm-hmm. the way we met. He decided to surprise me uh, in Los Angeles, and literally. I mean, I'll just be, like, kind of straight up with this answer. We were just fucking, like, bunnies for, like, a week straight. Mm -hmm. And then it's, I don't know, it just kind of, this. we just really just felt hard for each other. And it's just, you know, it's almost fun. Did he fuck you on his tippy toes? Is, and that's not a short joke. Is he, <laughs> he loves to walk around on his tippy toes, Alex. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, not the tippy toes. Shut up. Uh, oh god, you totally just messed me up with that. Um, no, it's just uh, like how you hooked up. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking like bunnies. It just it just kind of went really fast, and it's like we just fell really hard for each other. And it's just like the funny thing is, it's just like that's why I just want to put out there just for like my final statement on it. It's like I barely fucking knew Andy. Like I barely knew him. I had no intentions of ever fucking be with him because sometimes uh. you know like you do just kind of talk to someone because you kind of want to feel better about yourself with their reactions. You guys, like you guys bonded over both raising a special needs child. Wait, what? <laughs> all right, I got to go. Thank you all for calling in. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Thank you. I appreciate you calling in, too, as well. Thank you for coming. Everybody, it's almost five hours. Yeah, no, it's so long. Fucking Ruffle Mania coming up. That's Ruffle Mania. That's right. (laughs) Failure Geek. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate everybody as well. Ma'am, I appreciate you stopping by as well. Uh, I got to go, though. Uh, It's so late. Uh, The Lord never stops. Somebody in chat just said the Lord goes even deeper, Uh, and they're correct. But thank you all. Uh, I do appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, 100%. All right, I'm gone. Uh, I had to just kill it. I had to kill it. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.